What the fuck did I just walk into? Hello? Okay, I finished taking my Advil. I'm so sorry. I took like a smidgen too long to get to my PC. I just spilled, I just spilled fucking water all over myself. All right, okay, <laughs> whatever. Hello, hello, hello? I have a cam, I have a camera. Hi friends, I cleaned my, okay, I cleaned my office too. Can I get a hallelujah? Look, you can see my floor. I have a floor. My setup isn't like garbanzos anymore. I'm so proud of myself. Did our lewd teeth touching discussion interrupt your Advil administrations? Yeah, I didn't like it. Kind of weird. Not gonna lie. So, that's a weird intro. No, you're not touching my teeth, Lady Venom. No, not at all. Thank you for the raid, by the way. Welcome. My name is Syra. I'm a Final Fantasy XIV streamer. Didn't think that's gonna be uh, the way that I was starting my stream, but... We ball. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Blame dentist. I'm not blaming dentist. No. <laughs> You're not just a PNG? Who would have thought? Uh, there's a 4D person behind PNG tuber fucking peppermint? Final Fantasy you say? Yes, I do. Hi, Garrick. How are you? Oh, okay. Good morning. Good morning? Good evening, chat. I am so excited for today's stream. Because we are finally dipping our toes into 5.2 content. I'm a balance. Have a good stream. Thank you. Bye-bye. I'm looking beautiful. Thank you. Are you saying PNG Pep isn't a physical being? I mean, she could be in your dreams. Look at my hair. I... It is so... It's so floofy right now. Look at it. I feel like... I feel like I just, like, got electrocuted. <laughs> Just twerked online? Love that for you. How did that go? Do share the details. Is this your first one of the game? Yes, it is. This is my very first playthrough, and it is going swimmingly. I am having a blast. It's so good. Is it pronounced sock or is it sock? Such insight. Hello. Hope you're doing good. Thank you. I hope you're doing well as well. Welcome to my stream, friend. Oh, I got something in my eye. I'm excited for me, too. Poof Khan is between you and Waldo? Yeah, he's just like his mother. Eh. So, real quick, I just want to make a disclaimer very fast because that did make me uncomfortable, so we're going to discuss some house rules chat, okay? I know y'all don't mind when I do this because y'all respect me, so we're going we're gonna to have some house rules. If you don't know the streamer that you're rating, don't say weird things in their chat. Don't do that. Um... You know, I just started stream, got a raid from a stranger. They started saying weird things in my chat. I just kind of sat here, took my Advil and was like, I'm uncomfortable. I don't want to feel uncomfortable in my own stream, you know? So, um, tip, please don't do things like that. Please don't become over familiar with a streamer or their community if you do not know them. That's uh that's weird you wouldn't come into my house and and talk like that right so why would you come into the stream and talk like that you know so I'm, I'm a little i'm a little bit uncomfy right now so let's uh you know um let's not touch each other's teeth <laughs> let's let's not do that yes do not shit on my doorstep unless you're waldo okay only waldo can do that <sighs> Yes. Ken! Be kind, rewind. Thank you for so much, Resub. Be kind, oh. rewind. I appreciate it, buddy. I gave my character a, a what? I gave my character a makeover. At least saw what he looks like now. Oh, I'm excited. Is Inconceivable! She is to respect. Thank you for the 500 biddies. To respect! Cheers! To respect. Cheers, babes. Hope I didn't. Uh, make anyone feel uncomfortable saying that, um, but house rules are very important, <laughs> especially when you're someone with a lot of anxiety and BPD. I don't want to, <laughs> I don't want to set myself off, you know, I don't want anyone in chat setting me off either, especially when I'm working. Oh, I had that. 
But how's everybody? How's everybody doing today? I'm so, I'm so, 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 so happy to not have taken a nap and felt like shit afterwards. You know? Redecorated. We're chilling. I put up some, I put up some new things. We have, I got a Namazu in the mail. I put them up. I redid this so y'all can see my plushies. I put up my etherite that I believe Dentist gifted me very um, swimmingly. Um, and that's about it. Nothing else. Nothing else uh, oddly suspicious in the background at all. No. <laughs> Bye, Prince. Have fun being drunk. Emmett pick? There's no picture of Emmett. No. What do you mean? I don't see anything. There's no Emmett behind me. I don't know what you're talking about. Hi, Twafo. What's up? <laughs> Emmett pick is bigger than Orshifont's? Uh, there's no picture of Emmett. There's only Orshifont in the back. I've been thinking about Bahama and how we cleared it super easily. I really want to try it. Like, I really want to try clearing it, uh, synced. Hi, big fan of the Nintendo slash Final Fantasy items. They're very pretty. Thank you, Legend of Aerith. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah, I got a lot of, I got a lot of goodies behind me. I got some Dragon Age goodies. <laughs> some Gundam goodies. Thank you. I just got done watching your Shadowbringers ending vlog, so seeing that pick warms to my heart. What pick? There is no one behind me. Hi, Urchin. Who's that bunny girl? That's Lacus Klein. That is my wife from Gundam Seed and Gundam Seed Destiny. Love her. Surprise, there's surprise there's no mini Pedro Pascal behind you for now. <laughs> I go to care for cats. I should turn it on. Take care, Elise. See you. Hi, see you, Salad. If someone breaks into your house, they're gonna assume you are royalty or some shit. They fucking better. What's up, Ash? How you doing? You took a nap without feeling like shit impossible. I know, right? Well, it was like a very short nap. It was like a 20 minute nap. So I don't even think it counts as a nap, honestly. Full cardboard cut out of Pedro Pascal when? Nah, nah, I'm not that type of person. But a cutout of Orshifa in my new in my new home when I move in? Maybe. Gangsters, what's up guys? <laughs> the saddest way, thank you for the hundred biddies. Oh my god, he scared me. Better expect them to come and say, yes, queen. Nah. I expect them to come and say, my lady. My lady. Oh, yeah. Because um, my my schnook is a little bit more organized, you can actually see Orshifon now. <laughs> He's a little bit more clear. <laughs> How many Gengars do you have? Only two. I got this one and this one. So this one is a Squishmallow. And this one is like an official Gengar. I have a little ghastly back there. I don't know if y'all can see him. It's a blink! Slow and reverb. That's fair. That's true. It's giving cozy gamer vibes. That's the vibe I'm always looking for. That is the vibe that I wish to achieve at all times. Teehee. Teehee. Thank you for three months recent with your prime. I appreciate it. Welcome back. Hey, Shake. How are you? Nice to see you. Ugh. I have not done my dailies today, and I want to. <gasps> Chat! I forgot. I have something to show you. No one reminded me, but thankfully I reminded myself. So, remember how I said I bought a Dark Knight Zine? Well, it's here. Ta-da! It's called The Blackest Night. And it is... I went through it today. I read some of the comics. And when I tell you I was crying, it is so gorgeous. Um, these were created by, uh, Twitter users, I believe. People from the community. Yeah. Someone named Pippin Truman, uh, Good Loose, Ethoc. Yeah, there's a bunch of creds here. I don't recognize some- I recognize a couple of the- of the artists. Not all of them, though. But, yeah. I didn't get any of the pins or anything or the stickers because they were, like, uh, they were sold out. So I couldn't get any of the cuties. But, let me show y'all, let me show y'all some of the artwork in here. Let's see. There's this one short, uh, short story that has my boy. I was not prepared to read it. Oh, look at this one. This was my wallpaper on my phone for a long time. Look at that. I love this art piece of Frey. It is beautiful. 
It's on my alt Twitter. I retweeted it at some point. So if you're looking for it, you can go to Rayonera, uh, twitter.com slash Rayonera and it'll be there somewhere. But yeah, they have a bunch of like short stories. They have comics. Look at the art. Like, it's so fucking good. Um, there's one thing in here that I wanted to show y'all. Where is it? Oh, this comic. This fucking comic. This comic made me cry. So, Mist, they they wanted to see Orshifon one last time for their final goodbye, so Mist brought him. And they said their final goodbye. And I, I like, genuinely cried in, uh, on the last two pages. <laughs> like, I am... This, this game... This game, the Dark Knight questline, just Ishgard, Heaven's Ward, like, fuck me. Just fuck me up. Hey, Keeb. Hello. From your Twitter post, dipping your toes in, there's gonna be feet? Yes. Yes. Do you wanna see some feet? Wanna see these feet? These sponsored by Discord feet? Look at that. I got the Discord dude on there. See that? Yeah. You like that? Hey, Wumpus! Yeah, that's it. How did I forget that he's called Wumpus? The Discord dude. <laughs> the entire game is all about that emotional damage. Yes. And honestly, I feed off of that, so. Oi. Okay. I am having a good day, Ben. How are you? How are you doing? Does usually paywall content? No, no, no. It's only paywall if I'm barefoot. Y'all can see my feet when I'm wearing socks and slippers. I don't mind that. But when I'm barefoot, nah, you gotta pay. Hi, Ranger Zone. How you doing? I'm just getting ready very quickly. I'm gonna put on my cat ears and we're diving in immediately because I do not want to waste any more time. The socks are cool. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, with socks are free because it's like censored, you know? Thank you for gifting a sub to meme feet. I appreciate it. Got a job after being unemployed for a while, so that's good. Oh, congratulations! Let's get some hype in the chat for Ranger Zone. I'm so proud of you. Good job. Good job. I'm all right, though. I'm excited to just play more Final Fantasy, honestly. It's all I've been thinking about today. I know a guy that would go crazy over the freaking socks alone. I'm glad I don't know him. <laughs> Dentist, my dear, thank you for the 10 gifted subs. I appreciate it to everybody that got gifted a sub. Welcome to the coven. I hope you enjoy your batch, your emotes, and your stay. Thank you. Let's get that Makusi, Miss Kusi, the MS Kusi, the MS Kusi. I'm 180 away from 1,000 now. Holy shit. What's your goal after 1,000, bro? Lizzie, hey, it's nice to see you. How you doing? I have so many questions, chat, about this game. Aardvark is back. What the fuck? Okay. And then, like, we need to find another way to bring the besties back um, to the source because the aura site isn't enough. What the fuck? Arthur? No, not Arthur. And I know I had more questions, but I forgot. I forgot what they are. Also, Xenos is back. So I'm, I'm like, I'm a little bit suspicious. Do I have a mod here? Do I have any of my mods here? I think I need a mod. Ah, I do not have a mod. Um, fuck. I see Vince is here. Vince, are you able to mod for me if I gave you a sword? Hot damn, you're foin. Thank you. So true, bestie. Um, because, like, I <laughs> probably donate to the money goes straight to you. True. Um, I, I want to speculate, but I don't want to do it if I don't have mods. <laughs> because I don't want to, I don't want anyone spoiling anything for me. And now, mod check? Mod check? Hello? Bro. What do you mean? What do you mean? My two? My two? <laughs> 
My two Final Fantasy mods are streaming right now? Bro. My brother in Christ. Show us the armpits? Fuck off, bro. Hell no. If you see him, you see him. If you don't, you don't. What is with all of y'all and the sudden, and like the sudden, like, love for armpits? Where did this fucking come from? Like, people are either like, shitting on my armpits like oh they're too hairy or they're like oh so good let me exfoliate my mouth on them like what the fuck nah miss me with that mm -mm. okay let me see if if jenna's home no like it please no you're not seeing my armpits if you see them by accident like when i'm playing with my hair good for you but i'm not gonna show you my pit so you could jack off to them i know what y'all fucking heathens do i've been on reddit i've been on reddit okay I see everything. Exfoliate their mouth? That is what they do! Hello, City Streets. Hello, is that Charlie? Red is an interesting place, also not the weirdest, uh, definitely not the weirdest, but it is interesting to say the least. I'm horrified of Reddit. Um, fuck, okay, Jen is not replying. I need to get out more. I've not heard the armpits thing. You don't, you don't want to know. It's all, it's on Twitter and it's on, it's on like Reddit. I don't know when it started and I don't know why it did either. Joined in just in time for the armpits and jerk off talk. You're welcome. Why would people say if you, if you just started censoring your pits with, what would people say if you just started censoring your pits with body tape? I would. At this point, no. You know what like fucking blows? The fact that, like, and I mean, this goes for everybody, honestly. Like, this is not just, like, a femme-exclusive thing. But, like, I cannot exist on the internet without somebody sexualizing me. I sneezed on stream a few times before, and I was in a, like, a sneeze compilation because it was, like, a hot thing. You know, my armpits, my feet, you know, my boobs, my ass, my tummy, every aspect of me is something that can be sexualized by strangers on the internet. And that is horrifying. And I hate it. And that's why I'm like, I'm very careful nowadays about the way that I, like, curate my community. Because that's just not funny. Uh, I'm sorry, a sneeze compilation? I said what I said. I'm, mess I'm messaging Vince, like, nobody is replying to me. I have no mods right now. I cannot play MSQ. <laughs> like, oh. If you were wearing a radiation suit, some perverted person would find a way to sexualize it. Yeah, they'd be like, oh, I could cut a hole in that. Like, what the fuck? People can't get enough by just watching a live stream. Wait, what do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? Vince! Vince? 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 Vince, we have a favor to ask of you. We have a very important favor to ask of you. If, if you would not mind being just the sweetest, sweetest dark night for me tonight. You know, most people have white knights, but I have my dark knights. Um, yeah, can we get a pet the mod in the chat? Just give him a little head pat real quick. 
you know, you'll you'll get head pats, you'll get my appreciation. Vince, come on, I shall defend chat. Beautiful. <sighs> Did it work? Did I do it? Did I mod you? Are you modded? I don't know if it worked. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, there we go. It did work. Some head pads for the good boy. Some head pads for a good boy. Mod me so I can start the Hunger Games and chat banning people who don't survive. Drew, who are you? I've never met you in my life. I've never met you before in my life. You let... <laughs> I don't trust you anymore. You send me videos on TikTok when you could very well text them, or not TikTok, Twitter, when you can just text them to me. Like, that hurts my feelings, bro. It hurts my feelings. Not anyone can be mods here. They need to know if, if uh, Final Fantasy didn't know spoilers stuff. True. See, Avalon gets it. That's my girl. <laughs> Sorry, my ears are still kind of broken, so I'm just trying to like, I'm trying to just like fix. Fix my shit. Okay, Vince, if you're here, consider this. I can go beat her up IRL if she says no. All right, come do it. Um. Okay, I am at your service. Okay, so I can talk now. So I have some speculations. I am. I have a lot of feelings. I am scared. I really think I'm gonna lose a scion or two trying to bring them back to the source. I'm scared something is gonna happen to the twins. I'm always scared something's gonna happen to the twins. They're my children. They are my babies. And I, okay, so Xenos is back. Like proper, like Xenos himself has returned. So spoilers, yes, these are spoilers. So if you don't want to know, vamos, vamos. Um, so I am a little bit confused. I don't know. How do I, how do I phrase this? Bye. So he's back. He's half Garly and half Assian, right? Isn't that what we've learned? That's what we've learned now, right? Ashley Tisdale is mixed. She's biracial. She's half Asian, half Garlean. Am I getting that correct? Am I getting that 100% correct or not? Is that something that I know or that I don't know? Because I, I, I swear they explained that. Eh? Eh? Okay. I'm still sticking with biracial. I'm still gonna call her biracial. But why the fuck are they back? Assy and his religion, Garly and his nation? Okay, that I guess makes more sense. I guess. But why is he back? What happened? Because it's not like an Assyan in his body anymore. It's just him. Why? <sighs> they said it if you want me to explain i i think they see that's the thing i think they explained it in game it's just like i don't remember that's what like that's my my dilemma right now do you want to know do you want to know i'm a giga nerd and probably have answers well it depends is it a spoiler remember in stormble when he got the power boost no i don't remember that the story pretty much tells you stuff you will need to know in time. Well, if the story is going to tell me more, then y'all don't have to tell me, you know? I, yeah, I swear it was explained. It's just I don't remember. The fake echo he got in struggle. I don't remember that. Why don't I remember? Well, in fairness, I didn't pay attention to anything in Stormblood. I kind of just squeezed past it because I hated it so much. Um, It's more like he's doing funky assy and like soul transfer stuff. Interesting. 
Elidibus? Oh, Edible. Edible said that he was able to come back with the power of the Borrowed Echo. Borrowed Echo? It was the... Oh! Oh! The machine! Oh my god! Right! That, like, that factory shit where they took Kryle. Oh! I forgot about that! Right! Right. Right. Okay. Yeah. Right. Right, right, right. I remember when they put Kryle in a test tube to copy her echo and then for Oh my god, I forgot about Fordola. And Xenos got an echo. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's all coming together. Yes. Okay. That makes sense now. That makes sense. Oh man, are we going to see Fordola again? Don't 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 answer that. I loved her. She was hot. Also, Sarnix, you can go raid if you want. Wait. I think we're good. Wait. Sarnix, are you still raiding? Vince, are you chilling with me? Are we good? Do I need another mod or are we okay? Florida woman. Yeah, I'm chilling. Okay. Are we good? I think we're... Yeah, I think we're good. We're on breaks. So I'm just chilling for now. Okay. I think we're good now. But when I started Jin, I had no mods. I looked at the viewer, there wasn't a single one there. <laughs> so I was like, ah! <laughs> but we're okay. We're fine. We're chilling. All right. Pet the mods. Look, they're doing their job. All the mods are busy with Final Fantasy. I know. I modded y'all to mod my Final Fantasy streams, and y'all are ditching me for Final Fantasy? I am not surprised, but I am disappointed. <laughs> I bring the shield next time. Yes. Yes. Well, Dark Knights don't need shields. You guys are my Dark Knights, not my White Knights. One takeaway you should have is that the Echo power seems to be related to shenanigans the Asians do. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll keep this in mind. I'm a paladin? Gross. Ew, you're basic. I'm so glad that no one is flaming me right now. And I'm not going to repeat it if anyone, <laughs> if anyone is confused. But want me to bring my fist next time? Yeah, I'm sure they could fit. Okay, let's start the game. <laughs> oh, Shrimpy! Hi, Shrimpy! I took my science mods and now I can play Final Fantasy XIV in peace and watch the lovely Syrah. Hell yeah, Carnage! Pause. No, no pausing. No, 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 no. Missing bits is normal? Yeah. <laughs> I, I've been zooming. <laughs> what?! What's the matter? You tell me you've never... F Look. Look. This is a fist. Okay? You tell me this isn't possible? Have you seen what comes out of vaginas? I could put a, I could put my whole fist in my mouth, but I'm, I'm not going to do that on stream. This is a fist. I'm not coming over anymore. No, I miss you. Please. <laughs> I would lend my Dark Knight Claymore if I had to move recently and my stuff wasn't put away. God fucking damn it, Sawin. Not that my fist is bigger, though. Yo, are we having a fist off? You know, I've seen people go, yo, well, my cock is bigger. <laughs> Not the fist, though. We are be canceling my flight ticket to Canada. Why is why does everyone hate me? Look, I didn't say I was gonna get fist. Did I say I was gonna get fisted? What did I see? I mean, what did I say? Look, I don't look. No, no one is getting fisted. I am just speaking hypothetically that it's possible to get fisted. Look. Man can dream. Look. Fishing? How big is- I'm a fist! Uh, big enough. 
big enough. Yo, there were people slandering Shah Rukh Khan on my fucking timeline today. Let me pull this up. And I, I want y'all's opinion. I want your opinion, okay? I want y'all to tell me if this is weird or not. Okay? Oh, dentist, you've said worse. How dare you? All right. So, someone said, seriously, I don't know how about, I don't know about you, but what kind of father comments this on a, comments such a thing on his daughter's fo photos? This is Shah Rukh Khan's daughter, okay? And he said, too elegant, baby. So contrary to the pajamas you wear around the house. How is this wrong? How is this not okay? What the fuck is weird about this? Like, have you ever met a brown person in your life? They say weird, they say weird shit, but it's like, this is just dad humor. Also, like, I don't know how to, like, explain this properly, but when English isn't your first language, sometimes things are gonna, you know, come off a little bit different to people, like, on the West, but it doesn't mean it's weird. Yeah, if this bothers you, you need to put away Pornhub and go get a father. Just go find a dad and be like, yo, adopt me for a bit. I want to know what it's like to be loved. What did he say? He said, two elegant babies. So this is his daughter. Okay. He said, two elegant babies. So contrary to the pajamas you wear around the house. How is this fucking weird? Like, they're seeing him say baby, I think. And they're making it weird. Do your parents not call you baby? A 2500 quote tweets was 800 likes. I think most believe that this is normal. Oh, I didn't even fucking clock that. I thought it was the other way around. I thought those were those were the likes. Damn. I'm dumb. <laughs> I thought those were the likes and those were the quotes. But still, my point stands. I don't know. I'm very defensive of my boy. I love Shah Rukh Khan. He is a cinnamon roll, okay? <laughs> that is my that is my father. I don't got a daddy, so he's my daddy. He is both my father and my love interest. Oh, maybe I'm the one that should probably stop watching porn. But can you blame me? Have you seen Kuchko Chodahe? Have you seen Mohobate? Like, listen. Listen. <laughs> that man is like he 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 do not look up tom brady kissing son is it just tom brady kissing his son i'm 31 and my mom still calls me baby yeah i'm 25 and everybody still calls me baby did you know srk and i have the same initials yeah you're not the srk i want don't worry until this day, my mom crushes over him. Good. <laughs> She's got taste. Now I have a feeling you've watched tons of Bollywood porn parodies. No, I don't. It was a joke. Somebody kisses his son on the lips a little too much. Oh, that's a bit weird, I guess. Found out the new SRK movie is playing in a theater an hour away from me. Guess what I'm doing the next day off? Yes! I might be seeing it tomorrow. I have to double check with Claire. Claire, are you here? Do you want to go see the uh, Pathan tomorrow? I really want to see it. And then I will rent it immediately after and stream it for all y'all. <laughs> and we can we can watch it together. His, mu his new movie that's out, it's so good. That's what Richie said. Richie saw it and they said it was really good. I'm so excited. Oh, all right. Okay. Now that we've finished discussing my... I swear to God, if anyone... If anyone is clipping my armpits... Okay, hold on. I gotta BRB. My bra strap keeps, like, flinging around. Who is the Final Fantasy mod now? Vince! Because Vince is a good boy and he's here. Everyone gave him pets, so we have him. Because you were too slow to get your ass here. <laughs> I'm just teasing. And now I have Kelsey!
Kelsey. Look at the I don't need gin when I got Vince and Kelsey. I've been knighted. You have been. I hope you enjoy your big sword. Okay, I'll be right back, chat. Be good. Be on your best behavior, okay? Make right choices. Don't talk to strangers. Don't talk to Jen. Yeah, I'll be right back. Okay. We're good. That's a nice window. I know, right? Don't do it, she said. Please talk to me. I'm lonely. What the fuck? <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Today's a good day. Why is it a good day for you? Did you finally, did you finally get the hug you've always wanted? Did you get a kiss? Did someone finally acknowledge you? Did you finally make a friend? I'm so proud of you too. All right, let's get this headset on. I have a headache. I took my Advil, so I'm hoping it kicks in super quickly. As a fan of Fuzzy Blankets, your blanket looks chef's kiss. Is well, of course, it's very cozy. It's very cozy. Oh my god! I have a dead pixel on my on my camera. Or is that on my monitor? Oh! I have a dead pixel on my fucking lens! Okay, we need to fix this. We, I need to fix this. Okay, what can I do to make it, like, not bother me? If I combine it with Cubone? Fuck. Okay, it's a little less obvious now. Okay. No, that's gonna fucking bother me. Oh my god. Vlad! Vlad! Fuck! Oh my god! Vlad! Vlad, please! 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 Fix! 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 Oh my god. Okay, chat, we're not gonna look at it. Instead, we're gonna bully me for this, okay? We're not going to look at this. We're going to look at what's over here instead. My, 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 my. <laughs> I got a leak. Casey watching a stream with a dead pixel. Nissan, you fucking stay here. You fucking stay right here. All right, anyways, um, moving on. We're no longer looking at what's behind me. We're not looking at the dead pixel or the dead boys behind me. There are no, there are no, look at, look at the Namazu. No, look at the Namazu. Look at, look at the little guy. Look at, look at this little dude. Look at my Namazu. That's who I meant. This is my other husband. This is my, this is one of my boys. Look at him. Damn, that pixel is just like Orshifon. Dead. <laughs> I'm so 
sorry, my boy. Hey, first time in your stream. This is a great setup you have. I was wondering, wait, is it a dead pixel? Ew, I'm leaving. My shame! My shame! There's no new portrait. There's no one behind me. Okay. All right. It's gamer time. It's gamer time. It's time to be a gamer time. All right. I don't love. No, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, do I need my glasses? No, oh, I should be chilling. I should be good. Okay. But yeah, how do y'all like the new setup? Like, it's honestly, it's not that different, but I did like declutter. It looks good, right? Get your glasses. I don't even know where they are. <laughs> I think they're in my my living room. Yeah, I'll get my glasses. But yeah, what do we what do we think? It looks like better, right? Yes, because you can't see Emmett without them. He's fucking dead. I'm never gonna see him again unless I turn around. So like this is just this is just a shrine of everyone I've lost in this game. <laughs> Kelsey, you can't just say good girl to me. Hey, yo, I got my glasses, okay? That mushroom Furby leg legged thing keeps looking at us, chat. Do you have a problem with her? I don't think chat likes you very much. I think they're bullying you. Do you have anything to say to them? Oh, they have nothing to say, but do you feel disrespected right now? See that chat? You hurt her feelings. She was minding her own business, sitting down there, and y'all have to fucking bully her. You know, not everyone can be as pretty as Lacus Klein, okay? And she knows it. Sarah got that from Sam? No. Look, more than one people, more than one person can be obsessed with Furbies. I actually found them through, uh, through Cray. Because Cray likes collecting, like, weird, like, creatures. And so then I looked up some re weird creatures. I have, <laughs> have y'all seen my long Elmo? <laughs> Hold on. I feel like, I feel like I've shown y'all long Elmo, but have you seen long Elmo chat? This is my boy. He's not long enough, I think. But this is Long Elmo. Wait, speaking of people that spend too long on Pornhub, come on, Sarah, come on. <laughs> what? <laughs> it looks like a Cheeto! Chimo! Chomo! He's a hot Cheeto! Leave Elmo alone. Take 
this L, bro. Elmo! Ah, uh, who else do I have? Oh! I also have this long fellow. This is Heisenschnoff. Chat actually named him. This is Heisenschnoff. He used to hang out on my microphone. And honestly, I think he deserves to come back. You know? If y'all are gonna disrespect his family, then maybe he'll come back. I need a longer Furby. I need a longer one. I had one on my wish list. Someone bought it, but it never arrived. And then there's this one. This is Bat Furby. Boop, boop. I have like two more in my living room somewhere. Boop, 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 boop. Look, he's got hands. Hi. Burn them? They're my children. My people children. Children people. People children. I'm crying. People people. I am the one who furbs. Is that a stock, I think? Oh. I still have to fight them over that? Is that a stock? Oh, right! That's what fucking happened. Bruh. Pain. Misery. Agony. <gasps> Eleni! Thank you so much for the raid! Hello! Hi, friends. I'm Syra. I'm a Final Fantasy XIV streamer. And, um, chat's bullying my Furbies. They don't like my Furbies, chat. Do you like my Furby? Raiders, do you like my Furbies? Look at them. My chat is being very disrespectful. And honestly, they're cute. Thank you. See? Some people can appreciate art. They didn't like my Elmo. They didn't like my Elmo. What's wrong with him? Why don't people like Elmo? He's just a long boy. What do you mean? Oh, he's just some guy. He's just a little dude. Hot Cheeto Elmo is cute. This is my child. Look at him. Look, I can't, he just, look. He just chills. of showing up that freak don't let me in but you call him a freak the long child was foretold <laughs> it's okay mommy loves you look look oh have wait long elmo has a really good friend it's his neighbor actually Garfield. <laughs> Look at him. Gor it's Garfield. Say hi. <laughs> He's just vibing. <laughs> what can I say? I have a good taste in in uh, friends. But yes, welcome raiders once again. All your plushies are so god tier for real. Thank you, hot dad online. Thank you. Hey, um, hot dad, I have a question. So, um, my chat, they're all kind of fatherless. Do you have any tips on how to find hot dads? I think we could all use one. I could be everyone's dad. Fatherless kids in here. Yeah. 
Well, we play Final Fantasy fourteen, so of course we're all fatherless. <laughs> Hi, Carbonated Viking. Bro, I just took my dad to a movie this week. My dad. Dad crud. True. We have dad crud and Uriange. We have a daddy. His name is Emmett Selk. Yeah, and he's like, he fizzled into the atmosphere. He's dead. One dad is in, is in the atmosphere, and the other dad is six feet under in a two-foot wide home. So I don't know about you, but that doesn't sound too good. I got a wall of hair in my mouth. No, he's right behind you. There's no one behind me. Emmett Salk is resurrected in the shoe bills you see everywhere? Bet. I believe it. What? Right. Ready? Okay, what I meant to say <laughs> is it's, we, um, is we're gonna, let's play this fucking game, okay? So, for those who do not know, I am still new to Final Fantasy XIV. I am in 5.2, patch 5.2 of Shadowbringers. So I am not in Endwalker yet. So please refrain from saying any spoilers that could um, confuse me or ruin something for me. I don't want to hear anybody going, oh my god, this part, Bleh. don't do that. My mods will smite you. They'll give you a kiss on the forehead and then push. All right. Ready? All right. Let's, let's go. Okay. Peeper, peeper. Peeper, peeper. Okay, I do love this for me, though. Um, chat? Friends? Are y'all okay? Do y'all... Make a decision. Are you staying on? Are you logging off? What's going on here? Pick up your mind. Pick up your mind? Make up your mind! Bro, I can't speak. All right, I'm the last person who should be judging anybody right now. All right, here we go. Ready? Ready? Cool. All right, let's go. Where are you? Where is Tataru? Oh, it's Kryl. Oh, Daddy! We get to see Daddy again. Kryl is glad for your return, though it remains to be seen if she has glad tidings to share. Please be voice acted. I am begging. No! No! Pepper, my, what a pleasant surprise. If you've come to inquire after the Archons, fear not. Master Matoya's treatment has proven effective in stabilizing their corporeal ether. I guess, should I just start calling them Archons now instead of the Scions? We mustn't grow complacent, however. Potent though these magics may be, they are not without limits. We can only hope they afford us enough time for the Crystal Exarch to complete its work. Oh my god, chat. Listen. Mm. Listen. Listen. Listen, 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 listen. Now, I am not a Grahatia or a Grahatia simp, okay? But y'all know I call him Anthony Bridgerton, right? 
Y'all know that, right? Now, listen. When I tell you that I want to write this so badly between Pepper and him, I'm like, okay, look, I say I'm not a simp, but I mean that for now, okay? When I tell you, when I tell you, when I tell you, when I tell you, I need to write this shit so bad. <clears throat> this man is down horrendous! This man is a slut! And I swear to God, every time I see Mr. Grahatia, I sit there and I'm like, You telling me? You telling me I shouldn't be writing this shit? But I am leaving for India. And it is not far enough. Do you think that there is a corner of this earth that you could travel to far away to free me from this torment? I am a gentleman. My father raised me to act with honor, but that honor is hanging by a thread that grows more precarious with every moment I spend in your presence. You are the bane of my existence. Object of all my desires. Like, hello? 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 I'm just saying. I am just saying. What if I wrote some Grahatia and Peppermint smut? Would we... Would y'all be opposed? Hi, Kuya. I will do it. Night and day, I dream of you. And what I am. Okay, that's enough. That's enough, chat. That's enough. The Pickle children are here. Sire, you remind me of Marissa Tomei from my cousin Vinny. I remind your, um, I remind you of Marissa Tomei. Thank you. That is a milf. Stormer, what's up? We're up to like smut of pepper and half the cast of this game. Fucking at this point, go for broke. High score run. I fucking will. No, 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 no. I literally will. I will do it. I will. Re okay. So I do have like my 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 few fix that I, I get in mind that I'm planning out. But what if for fun? What if? For fun, I wrote a fic where she just fucked the entire, like, the entire cast. Every chapter, she fucks someone new. Why not? Why not? Imagine Pepper and Thancred. I still cannot get over the concept of, like, of, like, after losing Minfilia and, like, Orshifan, all that shit. Pepper and Thancred, fuck, they get angry together at, like, a, like, a tavern. And they're pissed. And then they just fuck. And then they're like, oops, bye. And they never speak about it ever again. And give it to me. Gimme. Pepper Nishtola over her knee. Mommy. Okay, sorry. I got so distracted. Okay. We can only hope they afford us enough time. Right. Yes. If only we could go with you to the first and help. Oh. <gasps> Pardon the interruption, but I come bearing urgent news. Oh. Daddy. No, that's not daddy. Oh. Maxima, ah, Pepper, it's been far too long, my friend. I remember you, but you're not daddy. I'm disappointed. Forgive me, I don't believe we have been formally introduced. Maxima, former Garlean ambassador. I remain here in Eorzea under the auspices, auspices of Commander Alden, uh, offering what counsel I can in the hopes of resolving the present conflict with the Empire. Is there a shrimp behind her? Oh, it's a flower, Never mind. Ah, uh, yes. I've heard stories of a defector from Garlemald, but never mind that. You said you have urgent news? Indeed. As you may have heard, the Imperial capital is in turmoil, and a, size por a sizable portion of the Garlean forces have been recalled from the Gimlet Dark. With their numbers so greatly diminished, the main house of the Alliance has withdrawn, leaving the Alamegan resistance to keep watch over the border. 
And it is there we have welcomed a most unexpected visitor who claims that this de-escalation may belly, or may belly, belly? Uh, growing dangers and unforeseen threats. Commander Alden has arranged for an impromptu meeting to discuss these revelations. He has also requested a, rep a representative of the Scions attend as well, though it was clear to whom he wished he, ex he wished I extend this invitation. Me! It would seem time is of the essence. Well, you're not, you'll not be attending this meeting alone. Though I am not as well versed in, this, in the affairs of city-states as her comrades, I see no reason to burden a single sign with all of this. Aw, thanks, bestie. Yes, of course. Then we must make for the Alamegan Quarter with haste. Well, what are you waiting for? Get going, you two. Okay, bestie. Bye. People gotta start bowing more. I want to see people bow for me. You know? I want to see that. Oh, well, this is probably Claire about the Shark Khan movie. Okay. So, the speak of Maxima at the Alamegan Quarter in the locks. Can I just, like, TP from here? Wait, where am I going? Oh, I am going to Giribanya. I don't know why it didn't pop up on my on my radar. I have a quest turned in here, apparently. Where is it? Y'all saw that, right? Like, the green quest? I don't know. I don't know where it is, though. <clears throat> Decorative prawn cocktails. Yeah, that's what was behind Kryl. The character's on his way to bow to you? Well, you better meet me here if you can. Alrighty, so we're going this way. Man, I do not miss this place. It was such a nightmare to navigate. Oh no, I actually did not mean to do that. I just wanted to get rid of the quest marker. Is sure is the home of, of bows and your house is there? True. Let me just go home real quick so everyone can bow to me. You should have a breakout her dom gear for Pepper? Yeah, and not because she's a dom type for Pepper, but that's the only way she can get there. Oh my god, stop. It's so true though, I agree. Good for her. Good for her. Pepper does not have dom energy. I think all of the characters that I've ever created, like, as always, have been, like, bratty or dominant. Like, they would top you. But Pepper, no. Pillow princess. Maybe. Maybe. Going with hand on heart is a beautiful greeting. I agree. Commander Alden awaits us in the royal palace. If you would follow me. Ooh, cutscene. Can it be voice though? Can you give me a break? Oh, this looks like a voiced one. They're here, Commander. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. And I, for one, am grateful that they are. Told you've been busy since our paths last crossed at the Gimlet Dark. Can all of y'all not, not look at me like this? Half of it. When the science spoke of other worlds, I'd struggled to describe what I pictured. Mayhap things would seem clearer were I to hear the tale from your own lips. But I'm afraid the situation will not afford us that luxury. I trust you two require no introduction. We meet again, hero of Eorzea. <laughs> Must we repeat this ridiculous display? I pose no threat to you, though what I come to warn you of very well might. Had he meant to do us harm, I hazard he would have kept to the shadows and brought more than two companions. We need not pretend to be the best of friends, but I hope we can put aside our differences for the present. How am I supposed to say no? I have two daddies staring at me. Like, okay, yes, whatever you want. Good girl. Relax. 
it's okay. As you are doubtless aware, Sir Estinian and I cooperated to rid the world of Black Rose in your absence. Mm. Our journey together took us as far as the Imperial Palace, where we witnessed Emperor Varus meet his death at Xenos' hand. Being the sole witnesses to this crime, and in no position to defend our innocence, we were then forced to flee, each pursuing his own avenue of escape. When we were later reunited, Estinian claimed to have encountered an unfamiliar kind of machina during his flight, but to me his mm. description seemed anything but right on further investigation i found that i was right the ultimate weapon right like they're bringing it back or something the empire is developing a new ultimate weapon yeah what that elegant monstrosity created to vanquish primals with which you yourself once thought to conquer eorzea the same in my foolishness, I sought to harness its power, and became the Asian's pawn in so doing. But you know as well as I how that tale ended. The weapon itself, excavated from beneath Eosia's this very city, life, was destroyed ere we could fully unravel its secrets, and that should have been the end of it. But unlikely as it sounds, the Empire's efforts to recreate it have somehow borne fruit, Primarily through secret research conducted by the Seventh Imperial Legion, it would seem. Wait, the Seventh was all but annihilated at Cartano, along with its legatus. Indeed, few survived. The Seventh, as it is now, has little in common with the Legion led by Vandanus, and its leadership has changed hands several times since. Metroid, thank you for so much for I appreciate it. Correct me if I'm wrong. Van Darnus, wasn't that who the fuck was mentioned in Coils? I could I could be wrong. I could be getting the, the names like mixed up. You are correct? Okay. Yeah, nail, yeah, her. Ta, I nailed it. <laughs> Precisely how this project has continued despite such turmoil, and under whose auspices, remains a mystery. What we do know, however, is that a number of prototypes have been produced, and that one of them is on its way to Eosia. We attempted to stop it, but it was all we could do to slow its progress. So we resolved instead to bring you warning. And right glad are we that you did. Though it soundly dashed our hopes that tensions might ease at last. Listen. Maxima's kind of hot, right? Like, he's giving, like, it's like skinny white nerd in high school with a long cock anyone else getting that energy from him you know what I'm talking about don't harm me don't you harm me I said what I said. Okay. You know those guys who are like, yeah, my cock's big, but it's because they're tall and skinny. Do you have 7 TV? I do. The emotes should be popping up. I just transferred all of my BTTV emotes into 7 TV because I noticed more people were using 7 TV. So they should have transferred over. Yeah. You can see them like up here, by the way, like in my chat. They're there. So I know what huh is. <laughs> it's 
kind of glitching out though. My my um. Is there a way to block pet bay modes in 70v? Yeah, you just don't enable them on your channel. I don't have them enabled. I don't like my um. For whatever reason, my um. My OBS is doing the glitch thing again, so it's like freezing a lot. So chat may f stick every so often, so I'm sorry about that if that happens. As it is, we've begun to strengthen our presence in the Gimlet Dark, and are assembling a force to meet the coming threat. A force with you in its vanguard, I hope. Before you say anything, I know full well you have pressing concerns of your own. Mm. Your comrades remain in peril, and I would not ask you to forsake them. But the fact remains that you and you alone have faced the Ultima weapon and emerged victorious. We need you. And so, when the time comes, if your comrades can spare you, I bid you lend us your strength. I've assigned an officer to await your word. The Assian's downfall was to be the work of my remaining days. But it was my hand that kindled these flames, and I cannot allow them to spread any further. Got his voice. I will do what I must to see this mistake consigned to history once and for all. Even if it means begging your aid. The fates will enjoy the irony, even as I endure the ignominy. I too shall make for the border and offer my skills, meager though they seem in such company. Mayhap we shall meet there anon. Mayhap indeed. Skinny penis. Though we can Max ill afford to ignore Max the coming cock. of a new Ultima weapon, our friend's plight grows ever more precarious, and none save you can join them in the first. Bro, only I can defeat the Ultima weapon, only I can save I my friends. You are not forced to make a choice. Bro! You um, The weight of the world and everyone in it is literally on my shoulders! Girl, okay. What's up, Kral? Let's continue with this. Let's wrap it up. As ever, the way forward is paved with difficult decisions. Oh. <laughs> We can ill afford to ignore the threat of a new Ultima weapon, but with each passing day, the plight of the Scions grow ever more perilous. <laughs> if you cannot stay for a debriefing on the Ultima weapon, I will not stop you. I only ask that you confer with me before returning to the first. Ooh. Quest popped up here. Ruby Doomsday. The Resistance and Alliance forces prepare in earnest as a new threat looms on the horizon. Ah, Pepper, glad you can make it. As you may have heard, Commander Alden has given orders to embark from Alliance headquarters to hold back the advance of the Empire's latest menace. Not that the soldiers stationed there are too chuffed about being on the front line against the new these new weapons. Who the fuck says chuffed if they're not a Brit? If they're designed to slay primals, then make short work of us mere mortals as well. Mind you, it's Gaius Belsar and his followers who've led the charge so far. By all accounts, they've been giving as good as they get. Fortunately, their sorties have met with little success. I dare say they'd benefit greatly from your presence on the battlefield. If you're ready, my colleague over at Porta Praetoria will show you the way. Interesting. I'm good. <gasps> Wait, this Hrothgar? Oh. They're so hot? Hafnir, whoever you are, your Hrothgar is delectable. Beautiful. Amazing. Okay, back to Kryl. <laughs> Proper chuff, yeah? Proper. The way home. Kryl can see the steely resolve in your eyes and suspects she knows where to where duty calls you. I take it you're ready to return to the first? Then I would ask that you apprise the others of recent events here in the source, namely Zenos' return and the development of a new Ultima weapon. As for their bodies, you may assure them Master Matoya and I will continue doing what we can to keep their corporeal ether stable. Safe travels, Pepper. I hope to see you and the other Scions soon. Ooh! 
I guess I could start playing as Dragoon and just grab the XP because I'm like, I'm, what am I at? Yeah, I'm at level 85. Oh. Um. <laughs> you know, I'm not sure if this is the right fit for MSQ. But I mean... Can't hurt. Oh, hey. Okay. Look, it's not that funny. It's not that funny. I look good. You said I look good. You told me this was a cute fit. Why are you laughing too? What the fuck? I don't want your kisses now. Get that away from me. Nah. So mean. I trusted you. I had faith in you. I cared for you. And this is what you do? This is how you treat me? So rude. Yeah, let's go with Peppa Pig. Ah! Dodged! Dodged. I bowed to you. I appreciate you bowing. I did also see you cheer me on, so thank you. <laughs> hey, Exarch! I- Stop screaming, it's me. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let's see how many cutscenes I can do like this without cringing. <laughs> let's see how long I can last chat. Like I'm just saying. The view's not that bad from down here. Do you have business with the Crystal Exarch? Just say the word and I'd be happy to escort you to the ocular. I'm a little close. I'm a little too close for comfort. Hey, bestie. You come at a most opportune time, my friend. I've made something of a breakthrough in my research on the soul and a means to return to the science home. Ooh. I trust you to I trust you too have been making good use of your time. Ill tidings from the source, you say. Then I will summon the others that we might all be apprised of the situation. Sounds good. Oh, it's a cutscene. <laughs> oh, it's a cutscene. I was hoping that we wouldn't actually get a cutscene. <laughs> Oh god, is it a voiced one too? Oh no. Now that we are all here, what news from the source? <laughs> well. A new Ultima weapon. We must count ourselves lucky that Gaius has pledged his assistance. While this is indeed a worrying development, I think the state of the Empire as a whole greater grounds for concern. With the Emperor slain and Xenos returned, it is impossible to predict how matters will unfold in Garlemald. The Ultima weapon may be but the first of many unpleasant surprises. Mm. The situation beareth closer observation, <clears throat> of that there is no doubt, and doth compound our need to return unto the source. Then let us address that issue. Our long search for a means to see you safely home may well be nearing its conclusion. Thanks in large part to Urianger and Beklug's invaluable insight, we have succeeded in fashioning a vessel for the journey. We set out to create a crystalline container retaining the more useful properties of white aurasite, but mm. without its regrettable mm. limitations. And after a good deal of trial and error, we made one. I was gonna say, that just looks like smaller Orisite. An arc for soul and mind both, that will allow your incorporeal self in its entirety to be ferried between worlds. A uh, spirit vessel, Watch someone fucking steal these from me. However... However? Though the vessel is possessed of the requisite qualities to hold mind and memory, it wanteth yet for a means to receive of them. Mm. For that, we must needs imbue it with the Exarch's innate gift. A gift that lives on only through the blood of the Allegan Emperors. 
which certainly does not flow within Aurasite or any other crystal. Just so, milady. The blood serveth as a conduit of sorts. In its absence, memory cannot pass from mind unto mind, nor from flesh unto crystal. Mm, I don't like the sound of this, honestly. That being the case, it's giving we must blood either magic. alter the process of inheritance, so as to require no such thing, mm. or determine a means by which my blood may permeate the vessel. Yeah, I don't, I don't like the sound of this. I am hopeful that the records found within this tower will yield the knowledge we require to pursue one or the other of these avenues. Is this gonna hurt him? As well you should be. The Allegan's body of etherological research is extraordinary. I can scarce believe it the work of ages past. But its underlying principles are not so very different from those of my own field of study. Given time, we will find the answers we seek. I know that you can ill afford to wait, and it pains me that I must ask you to do so. I can only reaffirm my promise to you that a solution will be found. Well, we're getting closer, so this is progress. Whatever it takes, I will see you safely home. <laughs> my apologies. Fucking pig peril fast approaches. <sighs> no. I had hoped to speak with the warrior of darkness. Yes, hi, that's me. But there is no need to cut short your meeting on my account. I will be waiting outside. Okay, mommy. Why not speak in here? She knows I don't mind. Unless she didn't want to. Oh. Perhaps I might accompany you. Though I am woefully ill-qualified to assist in the Exarch's research, I may it be of some use to Lena. I'm nervous now. What couldn't she say around Mr. Grahatia? Well, fishy. I don't want no salmon or beef. All right, we're going back to Dark Knight. Ooh, but which fit? Should I wear my new one? Look at this. Look at this fit that I made. I copped this from the from the wolves' den. Look at it. I've been eyeing it for so long. It's so good. Pepper looks so good. Ugh. Ain't she pretty? Ain't she pretty? And then I have. So I have. I have this one, her classic one, this one, and this one. I kind of want to put the same, like, loincloth in front of her as well on this one. I don't like that it's just, like, coochie. But I do love this one, too. This one is so pretty. Which one should she wear? Should I just start wearing this one for now? Zoom in, I want to see a headpiece. Oh. Uh, this is the most I can do. Hold on, let me, like... Oh. Is that what you wanted? Is this- is this the one you wanted? Got any games? You got any games on your phone? Hi! <laughs> Pepper is so fucking pretty. Oh, okay, we'll speak to Elfie now. Elfie knows eager to assist Captain Lena. I must confess, while I enjoy my fair share of scholarly research, it will be good to step outside for a spot of fresh air. Now then, shall we go and speak with Lena? Yeah, let's go. Look at the little bow above her butt. She's so cute. Talk to Graha? All right. It may simply be my imagination, but Lena has been rather brusque with me of late. Brusque, right? You don't suppose she slips it over the mishap with the salmon fillet, do you? <laughs> Is that why my rewards were all salmon? Just giving me the salmon? I didn't want it either! I didn't want it either, bestie! No one wants your fucking salmon! No, I don't want to wear this outfit. Do I want to wear this outfit? I want to- I want to make more 
like more glams that are like practical, you know? I fucking love this one. This is my new like archer glam. I want to get a hood for it. There was one that I was looking at that I think is from Stormblood if I'm not wrong. I'm going to change the bottoms as well. I don't want these boots, but they were all I could use at the time. This one's also super cute. This is my other Dark Knight gear. I could just wear this one. I don't know if I want it to be black, though. I am a sucker for black. I might just make it red. And then I just have these ones. I think this one's my mage fit. Yeah, that's my astro fit. Or sage. Sage or astro. Yeah. No, I don't want the near hood. It's something else. It's, um, let me see if I can find it. I think I sent it to Jen. No, I didn't. Who did I send it to? I want this. I want this hood. This one. It's apparently not hard to get. Let's go get it. Not now, bestie. Alexanderides, was that it? Was that where the coffer drops? Does it have a mask? It does. With all the glams modeled? Yeah, I know. Aorzia collection. That's how I found that. Alright. We'll grab it at some point. Not right now. I don't need it right now. But I guess I guess we'll wear this we'll wear we'll wear this fit for now. We have a little time, so I'll be brief. A Sin Eater Oh fuck! A Sin Eater has been sighted in Lakeland, and I asked for your assistance in slaying it. Holy shit. A Sin Eater? I had heard um, some few yet remain after the night had returned, but perhaps we should call the others. That will not be necessary. It is only a single Sin Eater. A simple task for our guard, I should think. That said, I believe fighting alongside the Warrior of Darkness would be a valuable experience for them. Peace can lead to complacency, and they gain nothing from an easy victory. But you do not underestimate your foes, however harmless they may seem. My men would do well to learn from your example. Me? Why not Alfino? Uh, sure. Why not Elf, you know? <laughs> you cannot be serious. Come now, Pepper. What could be more inspiring than fighting alongside the renowned warrior of darkness herself? Excellent. Then let us make for foot job. Hell yeah. Foot job. I do not like the Alexander raids, but like I will, I will farm them if I need to. Oh, did it snow again? Hell yeah. I remember everyone was like, oh yeah, the music in the Alexander raids are so good. Every single Alexander raid that I've done so far, the music was ass. And I feel so bad. I feel so bad. Every time I have a differing opinion, I'm always like, ugh. I'm betraying everybody. If you would wait here a moment, I'll gather the others. Sounds good. I'm sorry. You may not remember, but you have met these soldiers once before, though only in passing. Were they the ones that were knocked out and I was like helping, helping get up? How long have they waited the opportunity to fight at your side? I was at death's door the day after the city near the attack. Yeah, I remember. If you and your if you and yours hadn't come along, I'd have likely stepped through, and I wouldn't have been alone. Your courage and selflessness is something we all aspire to. I too was there that terrible day. My friend was transformed into a sin eater before my very eyes, and I had no choice but to cut her down. The thought of her into the field, holding a blade again, it filled me with dread. That is no way to honor her or my comrades. And so I have returned. I swear I will not let you or anyone else down from this day forward. 
A pleasure to meet you, miss. Truly. Seems like only yesterday I watched as you took flight astride in Amaro to go and save the Oracle. Strange to think that the Yulmoran soldiers we once locked blades with are now on her side. We will do our utmost to keep the peace here in Lakeland. We seem to be missing one. Fashionably late. Hello? Where's your helmet? My apologies, Captain Lena. An elderly gentleman asked that I escort him to clear melt. Clear melt. It took longer than I anticipated. Not begrudge your, detail your desire to help those in need, but a soldier must be punctual, especially when we play host to honored guests. It's fine, I don't mind. It's just me. It won't happen again. The name's Thaler. I'm sure you don't remember, but we met once in the infirmary. Oh, you get a flashback, but nobody else? I asked you to deliver a message to the Exarch and the Warrior of Darkness. Little did I know I was already talking to her. Don't give up. Don't give in. I keep those words close to my heart, and the boundless, beautiful skies above serve as a reminder of their importance. My friend got to see the knight's return shortly before he passed. Oh, yeah! He left this world with a smile, set up with a glimpse of what was to come. Oh my god, I think I remember this bit, and this was like what made me cry, right? But there are countless others who weren't so fortunate. Oh, cry. This made me, like, overwhelmed. They gave their lives for the promise of a future they'll never know. And so it falls to us to do everything we can to fulfill that promise. No matter what happens, we won't give up. We won't give in. Mm. <laughs> Your heroism has inspired all of our guardsmen in much the same manner. Our scouts in the northern staging point have not had the pleasure of meeting you in person. Let us not keep them waiting. Bro! I don't want to meet everybody. Never knew Final Fantasy Online had a story mode? Yeah, I mean, like, there's a whole MSQ for it. This game is, like, it's an MMORPG, but it's, like, an RPG before MMO, you know? Like, there's an online aspect, but you don't have to, like, you can ignore it for the most part, you know? It's very good. Very, very good. Very fun. Oh, I can't fly here yet. No! No! My bird matches the area, though. Have a bodacious stream with Grahatia's blood ritual siren. Godspeed. Thank you, Grits. I appreciate it. We gotta get you on those ether currents? Oh, no. Look at my wings! Look, I match! Stupidity. Ignore it until it makes you unlock hard trials and alliance raids to progress. Yeah, but those are fun. Those are fun, though. And at least you only have to do them once, you know? That. I have food, but I kind of want some chicken nuggies. Do I get chicken nuggies, chat? No, you can do the normal trials with NPCs. So you don't have to do them with anyone online if you don't want to. They will take longer if you use the um, the NPC route, if you take the NPC route, but it's fine. Chicken nuggies? Oh no, I really want some chicken nuggies. I'm thinking about it. I'm really thinking hard about it. Is that the Sin Eater? Is it already... What it... What's going on here? Did you slay this eater? Your orders were to await the main force before engaging. No, Captain. It wasn't us, I swear it. A man came out of nowhere and cut it down before we knew what was happening. By himself? Certainly it is no light warden, but nevertheless. It's true. Felled it with a single swing of his axe, he did. I've never seen anything like it. <gasps> Aardvark! So uh, who are you, the warrior of bleeding darkness? Oh, it's Hardvark. 
And he says, no, I'm a warrior of light. And that was it. Buggered off as quick as he came. A warrior of light? Why would someone go around calling himself that, though? It was those bastards who caused the flood. I mean, if you were going to pretend to be anyone, it'd be her. The warrior of darkness. Hey? Oh, oh I didn't know. It's an honor. Don't worry about it, you're good. There it goes. Since the Eater is no longer a threat, our work here is done. Return to your posts. That Ellison kind of looked like a Manalane a little bit. I had hoped to fight at your side Around today. Cheeks. But I'll continue to follow your example. And may we meet again. I have a bad feeling we will meet again, buddy. I apologize for the wasted journey. It seems I overestimated the threat. It's okay. As for this warrior of light, I do not know who would be brazen enough to take that mantle for his own. Whatever it may once have meant, it is forever tainted by the association with the flood. The Exarch told me the truth of Ardbert and his comrade's deeds, and I am aware they played some part in your own triumph. You could call me honey! <laughs> for your chicky nuggies. Made from fresh Chocobo. My god. Thank you. For the Thank you for the donation, dentist. Alright, I'm gonna get my chicky nuggies now, real quick. Actually, let me get through this cutscene first. Oh my god. Hey, Saren! Whew. Still, if this man is minded to destroy Sin Eaters, I may forgive him his unfortunate choice of alias. I want to go find Ardvark. But that is neither here nor there. I thank you for accompanying me. With that concluded, shall we return to the Crystarium? There is a proposal I should like to make. You get married? <laughs> Forgive me. There is one more thing. A personal concern of mine. I had hoped you might have a moment to speak privately. What's up? Take your time. I shall go on ahead. All right, where am I getting my nuggies from? Where should I get my nugs from? McDonald's, Popeyes, two twenty packs from McD's, City Streets. You're bold. Make a make a poll. Chocobos are us. Mick Mickabos, Mick Chocobos. I wonder what Lena wants to talk to me about. I'm. I have a feeling it has something to do with the Crystal Exarch. Maybe he's not doing well. Maybe it. Maybe, maybe there's something going on there. Maybe she wants me to check in on him. I don't know why. I don't know why I feel like it's related to him. What the hell is Jack in the crack? What in the American is that? Girl talk time? True. How are you, Badoo? It's nice to see you. I'm saying that correctly, right? Like, Badoo, like the Pokemon? Or is it Bidoo? Pulls up, thank you, babes. A supermarket here, ran here, 
Uh, started doing McDonald's, but not, but not pack of twenty nuggets, and they're exactly oh McDonald's, but not pack twenty nuggets, and they're exactly the same but cheaper. Oh God bless! Can you mail me some, please? It's be do ba doof. Okay, be do, 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 be do. Love the ears. Thank you. Thank you, Odinson. You know, I logged on to Twitter for one second. Finally, dipping my toes into patch 5.2. So, like, when you say dipping toes, do you mean, like, literally? And if you do, I don't believe you. I would need proof, I think. Not, like, in a weird way, though. What can I say, chat? The people want my feet. Hey, Mooney! How are you, Mooney? What's up? Oh, Jack in the Box. Jack in the Box is doo-doo butter. Uh, yeah. I wish... I wish I had an answer, chat. I wish... I wish I could tell you why people are so weird. See, here's my thing. Here's my thing. What possesses people to tweet that? You know? I tweet that shit at my friends. When you have 20 followers, why are you tweeting that to somebody? Huh? Maybe he's drunk? Nah, these people are not dr Hormones? That is more believable. I'm just gonna start asking all my friends to show me their toes. Hey, can you guys send me some feet pics? Post feet. I want to see your feet in my Discord server. Here, I'll start. I'll post feet. Post some feet. I want to see your feet. There, chat. I posted a foot. That's a good fluffy foot. Not someone joining my server the second I say I'm posting feet. Oh my god. Do you think... Do you think... I could take spicy lewds of Pepper's feet and make money off of them? Do you think Pepper would sell foot pics? And do you think they would be successful? Hey, Jen, are you going to buy her feet pics? So those pixelated toes? Yeah, you want to see those toes? Nope. Why not? I don't know if Pepper would, but people would def pay for it. I feel like she would. Jen will buy all the feet pics? I agree. I think he will buy all my feet pics. I mean, all of Pepper's feet pics. Not mine! I don't sell foot pics, chat! I'm looking for the channel for the feet pics, um, in general, chat. <gasps> Look at these feet! Yes! Oh, I like these feet. Those some cute feet. Does the market for everything? That's true. I mean, people want my armpits. I, look, I put, so I posted this, like, one selfie on Instagram, and it blew up. It has, like, 40-something, 40 40,000-something 40, likes, and I don't know why. But I thought it was because of my boobs, but it's because of my armpits. People went fucking feral for my armpits here. And, like, Why? I don't get it. Oh, look at the little toe beans. This is a good idea. Never mind, I regret it. You know, I was getting excited. Cat feet, cat feet, and then... <gasps> oh, pupper. Oh, 
you get your buffer or you get your buffer or you get your yummy scoy. Popeyes! Okay, Popeyes. I'll get my place. Thank you, Dentist, for sponsoring my chicken nuggies. I feel like chicken nuggets are like the Final Fantasy XIV treat for me. Every time I play, I get chicken nuggets. <laughs> and when I don't have them, I have like whiplash. Where are my nuggies? By the way, I ordered the um the Valentine's Day Moogle um lamp. I'm very excited for it to come. Alright, nuggies have been ordered. Dentist poses actual feet. Dentist no! Dentist no! For free? For free? He may not have understood the assignment, but you know what? He's making someone's day. I think I gotta go get my glasses clean. Okay. Ready? Let's dive back in. Oh no, I really need to clean these. Okay. We'll dive back in in one second. Valentine's Moogle lamp? Yeah, it's a little Moogle with like a heart on its head. As like its palm. Everyone gifted me toe socks and I couldn't wear them. Kelsey, why was everyone gifting you toe socks? Why you? Why do you have mutant toes? You have webbed toes? Oh my god. Featherkin. I'm blessed to know that I have never in my entire life ever worn toe socks. But unfortunately, I have a really bad feeling that I will now wear them for fun. Your nickname is Toe Socks now? Yeah, Kelsey, that's your new nickname. Enjoy. I sent like 300 I sent you like 300 for that and it ended up being $30. I know. <laughs> but that's okay. The money is going towards new emotes for the channel. So you know what? Thank you, dentist. I appreciate you. Thank you. I shall wear it with pride. Yeah, like you wore those fucking socks, huh? Not! Cause you did it! The life of a good boy. I love my good boys. Oh my god. Okay. Ready? Good night, Selwyn! Thank you for hanging out! Bye bye! All right, back to Emma's key. I will not mince words. This matter concerns- I told his... you. I told you. Though his countenance belies his age, his demeanor never has. He has seen more than any man should and grown ever more weary with Oh, time. I'm so nervous. I knew that, I knew it, I knew but it. But I see I give the wrong impression. Oh. While it is true he attempted to open a letter with the salmon fillet the other evening, we are not here because I suspect his mind is deteriorating. Okay, never mind. Unless? Nor do I believe him to be so maddeningly unconcerned by the prospect of his own death as mm. he once was. Indeed, the opposite is true. It is for this reason that I seek your advice. 
Since he returned from the Tempest, the Exarch is not as he was. He seems a different man, a younger man. I know not the details of his research, but when I saw him at work recently, there was a glint in his eye that I had never seen before. He looked happy. Oh. It was as if he had peered into the future and for the first time found joy there. Oh. Though it gladdens me to see him thus, I wonder if I should not keep my distance. I fear that my presence will only anchor him to the past, remind him of all the pain that came before. I don't believe in that at all. Illness is starting to ramp back up and the medicine is wearing off. I should probably head out. It was great seeing the stream, Sarah. Have a great night. Bye, Rhea. Thank you for popping in. I'm sorry that... Um, you're starting to feel poopy. I hope you get the rest that you need. Take care. <laughs> Lena, not asking you to put Gra in a nursing home. <laughs> Anchors keep us where we have chosen to be. He's lost without you, you know, and he missed you already. Yeah. He. Are you sure? Then perhaps we might remain as we were. As we have always been. What a relief. In that case, I will have to speak with him about the amount of time he is spending at work. This research is important, I know. But if he refuses to consider his own health, I will have to consider it for him. Mm-hmm. Make sure that little puppy is okay. <laughs> Cute. Cute. I love Lena. Oh, question mark, question mark, question mark. Facing the truth. Her mind at ease. Lena is ready to return to her duties. I will not keep you. You and your comrades have much discussed. I will see the others back to their posts. Thanks, bestie. No shot. Oh, I thought my Popeyes was already here because, like, Waldo is barking. But it's not. Do I go back to the Crystarium? I do. Yeah, no, Waldo's just being a boob. And her V is amazing. Cancel thinking about the scene after the battle during 5.0. I would, like, I would die for her, I think. There is a good chance that I would. Help me, this cat wants to eat my bu my bug. Your bug? Oh, wants to eat my berg! Well, that seems like a you problem. Give the kitty a little piece. Just a, a little piece. Just a niblet. Just a little nib. Look, now another cat is bugging you for a burger. These damn cats. Well, if Jin gets a bite, I want a bite. I want a nibble now. Do you have business with a crystal exo? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hello, Alfino. Wait, I'm gonna speak to Graha. Alfino tells me a warrior of light has slain the sin eater. Quite frankly, I'm not sure what to make of this. Ah, yes, I was hoping to speak with you ab about. Uh, hmm. On second thought, never mind. It would be rude of me to pry. Excuse me. Open up. Open wide your thoughts. Those were quite shocked to hear of what we found in Lakeland. But now that you're here, there's a proposal I should like to make. Oh, yes! Right. I've been spending a great deal of time in the Cabinet of Curiosity, and of late I have noted more and more uh, people perusing books on history, the years leading up to the Flood in particular. I suspect they wish to know more about the Warrior of Lights, or Warriors of Light, as well they should, but nearly everything I've come across describes them as Sin Eaters or worse. Regardless of whether or not this Warrior of Light is who they claim to be, I worry that their sudden appearance in conjunction, in conjunction with this renewed interest in their predecessors may lead to growing unrest and fear. If the people of the Crystarium see the truth, I say we give it to them. I too can attest to the falsehoods found within full many of the cabinet's tomes, with nary a mention of the noble deeds of Ardvark and his comrades. And to be fair, they bear some responsibility for the Flood. 
But when the tale is told again and again over the course of a century, I am not surprised to see their roles distorted and them painted as villains. Were it not for the records stored within the Crystal Tower, I would have had no reason to question the narrative. Oh? Unfortunately, that knowledge was of no use. But when I arrived here in the first, the reputation had already been irre irreparable, irreparably tarnished. Oh. Just putting on my card again. If I can find the holes. That said, there still remained those who worked tirelessly to defend their good name in those early days following the flood. Where are the armholes? Oh, there they are. And I gotta set up this headset so it's wireless with my PC because I hate having cables everywhere. Can't use my PS4 controller wirelessly when I play Final Fantasy XIV and I can't- and my headset's not wireless, so it's just cables and cables and cables. Gin Yummy Tomato! Yeah! Gin Yummy Tomato! It's Mr. Yummy Tomato! Okay. <laughs> Alright, we're good. I caught it. Considering all the good they had done, I find it a wonder they needed defending at all. They brought to justice the man who misused my knowledge to bring about the fall of Obert. That such heroes could be spoken of in the same breath as Sin Eaters is absurd. Under normal circumstances, I would agree. But as time passed, those who knew firsthand of their deeds dwindled. In the end, only one truth remained, that they were the cause of the flood. With the world on the brink of oblivion, it was all too easy for the Warrior of Lights to become villains deserving only of resentment and hate. At that point, the truth mattered little. It would not change their lot. Thanks to all of you, however, their lot has changed, and now they may heed the long-forgotten truth. You claimed it was Ardbert who helped you overcome Emmett Selk, correct? Such a revelation would do well to sway the hearts of those who know him only as a villain. I have shared this with a select few, but one and all must be told of his sacrifice. To that end, I say we proceed with Alfino's plan. We call together the people of the Crystarium and recount to them the true tale of the Warriors of Light and the flood that followed in their wake. <laughs> I think that's a good idea. That's what they deserve, right? Well, what say you, Pepper? Spread the word, I say. I wish we had- yeah, I wish we had done this sooner. In hindsight, I agree. Better late than never, no? Exarch, might I ask you to continue working with Beck Luck on our means of returning home? The rest of us will see to the gathering gathering the people of the Crystarium in the ex Exedra. We have to reach out to anyone and everyone who might be willing to lend an ear. With any luck, word will spread and more will accompany them. Oh, I'm guessing this is going to be kind of fetch questy, or is it going to be like a cutscene? Oh, oh. Yeah, speak with the people of the Crystarium. Alrighty. There can be no darkness without light, and so it was that Arbert was there. And so it was that Arbert was there in your hour of need. Uh, people must be told. Actually, they put hella onion on this. You can have the extra onion. Thank you, Elise. I appreciate it. Santiago, thank you for so much, Resub. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Welcome back to the Covenant of your bedroom. It's in your stay. I don't know what to do about OBS freezing every time I'm like out of the frame can someone does anyone know how to fix that like it's very frustrating not out of the frame sorry but like when I I tab out to play the game OBS freezes so chat freezes and then I can't see chat on my screen because like it's not like I don't see anything I don't see notifications or anything like it's stream labs or something I wonder if it has something to do with my mouse, but now I can't find the charger for my mouse. God, I need to do like insane cable management. Oh, I think I found it. Is this it? This is not it. Never mind. I just pulled a cable. I hate my setup so much. Oh! Appreciate it. So everything I'll give to myself. Welcome to the coven. Welcome to your badger. Welcome to your main screen. Chelsea, I don't know a single streamer that doesn't have at least two months. 
Dusty. I'm wondering if plugging in my mouse will help with this, but I, I genuinely don't know where the cable for my mouse is. It's right here. How the fuck am I supposed to charge my mouse now? Oh, I found it. What's the problem? Every time I switch back to the game, OBS freezes. So, chat freezes up here and over here. So, here. When I, I'm gonna jump back into the game, and when I notice it, I want you to look at chat above me. Actually, let's do it this way. Chat, can you spam Popcats? Or, like, any animated emote that you have? Um... And so when I notice that it freezes, I'll call it out. Okay, look. See? Do you see how the chat is not moving? You see that? Or it's moving in sticks? See? That's what's happening every time I tab out of OBS. It's bugging really bad, and it's like off and on. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And I don't know what to do to fix it. I'm wondering if opening my stream, like streaming in, um, what do you call it? In admin would work? Yeah, it's fine now because now I'm in OBS. Now I'm not, now I'm in OBS. Everything is, like, irritating me right now. Sorry, chat. Give me one second. Does OBS have an update? It does. But I haven't heard... I haven't, like, looked it up yet. I can't update OBS until I uh, check out the streamer reviews. So maybe updating will be the- No, I don't think updating will fix it because I've been having this bug since like- I've been having it for a few months. I just never like worried about it until now. You know? Like I try to just ignore it. Yeah, I don't know. See, it froze again. And the thing is, like, it freezes, um... Oh, please do, Kelsey. Um, it, like, it freezes... And... Even chat freezes. So I'm gonna start watching y'all... In the Twitch chat section thing instead. Which is gonna be really funky. But it'll, I think it'll be better for me. All right. Okay. Chat. Hello? I'm playing it on uh, my PC. It has nothing to do with the game, it's an OBS, uh, issue. Alright. Hi chat. Okay, this is weird, because now I can't see myself, because I have it closed. But that's fine. Alrighty chat. Now it's just the Twitch, Twitch chat. I may have to increase the size a bit because I can't. There we go. I think I'm gorgeous. Thank you. 
Tape a mirror to your computer screen. I have one right beside me, actually. Okay. Are we good? Okay. Oh, my Popeyes is almost here. Hell yeah. All right, let's go talk to the people of the Crystarium. Oh, I have mail. I'll go look at my mail later. Okay, so we gotta make our rounds now. We gotta go. We gotta go tell everybody about Ardbert. Trusted fa oh flustered father to be, daddy. Welcome to the future. The elven man before you seems to be in a state of considerable distress. Nice. I too like making elven men uh, distressed. Wait, what don't I know? What don't I know, judge? What are you hiding from me? Oh yeah, I gotta do the other rule quests. Eh, I'll do them at some point. Well, well, to what do I owe the pleasure? Whatever it is, I must ask you be brief. With the night returned, visitors have been flocking to Crystarium, and I find myself too busy by half. I don't mind, though. Seeing the stairs so full of life and excitement, one can almost forget the flood ever happened. The Warrior of Light? The Warriors of Light? Yes, the Exarch has mentioned them before, but everyone knows them now as the Cardinal Virtues. Or are you suggesting there's more to it than that? Well, you've yet to steer us wrong, so I'm willing to hear what you have to say. Sick. So that's one gonna be someone over here now wait what are you smiling about chat what did I miss what's going on come to browse where is in the market have you well I can guarantee you'll have no trouble finding what you need whatever it may be under Ulmore's new leadership trade has never been more prosperous word is that fellow word is that fellow from Daedalus Stoneworks has taken over as mayor. Did you, did he really? Little, bu little wonder business is blooming the way it is. I'm being silly because you can't see yourself. Oh, okay. I thought you were just being stinky and I don't know. <laughs> My ooh. Delivery dude said, Enjoy your dinner. Have a good night for you and your wonderful family. Thanks. Food is not ready, Texas. What? What? <laughs> and now he said, I am on my way. <laughs> okay. Food is not ready, Texas. Alrighty, Texas is not ready and nor is my food. I have literally ordered 12 nuggets. He's arriving by horseback, let him text. You right, you right, you right. You know what, I shouldn't judge. Imagine it won't Gangsters, take long. Oh, what's up guys? Dentist. Have a good night. Love you. And sorry you had to see my feet. <laughs> you know what, dentist? I'm a little bit grateful. My life has changed for the better thanks to you and your feet. I appreciate it. Thank you. Hey, Sarnix, welcome back. Hey, Scandy Wizard, I'm good. It's nice to see you. I imagine it won't be long before all of Norvrant reaps the benefits, but you've not come to talk about the market. Something on your mind? Yeah, I see. The Exarch did mention they had something to do with your returning the knight to Norvrant. Alright, consider my interest peaked. Turn up the in-game volume. I just noticed I had that cranked all the way down. Alright, how's the audio chat? Is it too loud? Is it not loud enough? Thank you for the hydration, Anna. I never thought the next dentist lord drop would be my feet. You know what? I didn't either, but honestly, kudos. You're braver than half of us. Audio's good? Hell yeah. Okay, there's gonna be somewhere, someone over here. 
Are they gonna be in here though, or like outside? I still get lost in the Crystaria memory so often. <gasps> yeah, Foxy. I thought it was a Corgi. Oh, it's gonna be someone in here, yeah. Is it the lady? What was her name? Yeah, Chesamile? Chesamile? Pepper! My, what a wonderful surprise! Though I hope your being here doesn't mean someone's been hurt. Thanks to you, I've had far fewer patients coming through my door of late. Which is a shame, come to think of it. I've had fewer opportunities to test my new medicines. <laughs> I jest, of course. It's actually been quite pleasant to have a few moments to myself now and again. Truth about the Warriors of Light? But the Exarch has already spoken with me about them. Well, if there's more to the tale, I'd very much like to hear it. Alright, we got two more. It's nice that these little, um... What do I even call them? Fetch quests? Well, whatever these are. It's nice that they're not, like, draining and excruciatingly long, excruciatingly long like they usually are. This is pleasant. Did I ever get highlights? No, no, it's just her ribbon. It's just baby girl's sweet, beautiful, pretty little ribbon. Pepper's hair is back to black and it is staying that way. I love when you do your voice. That one? The Pepper voice? Pepper has a beautiful voice. You know she's a trained singer? Pepper's Peanuts parent voice? No, her voice isn't wah, wah, bah, wah, wah. <laughs> Well, well, what a coincidence. I was just reading over a letter I see from Grinald not long ago. He says a visitor from the Castarian found him at the bottom of the ocean. Uh, she inspired him to reach new artistic heights. Well, you might think of one person capable of both feats. It was me! Though I'd say the letter, the latter is far more impressive. To think fate could bring the two of you together in such a place. <laughs> I'm sorry, you mean the Exarch didn't tell us the whole story of the Warriors of Light? Well, whatever he's left unsaid, I'm all yours. Alright, and there's one more. Pepper is a meeple? What's a meeple? How far do I have to go? There we go. See a penis. In high school we did You're a Good Man, Charlie Brown for Drama Club. The songs are burned into my brain. Elise, when are you going to recite them for us? <gasps> Gave me a scare dissatisfied. Hello, Morin. No, this can't be. Surely there's at least one book here that does not cast the Warriors of Light and their deed in such a negative light. Well, do I have news for you. Oh, Pepper! Forgive me. The Cabinet of Curiosity has been bustling with visitors of late, but I fear our repository lacks for the knowledge they seek. The more people wi the people wish to know the truth of the Flood, of the Warriors of Light. I have searched high and low, but alas, every account portrays them as no better than sin eaters. Abominations worthy only of scorn and resentment. You would address the people and tell them the truth of the words of light? Of the flood? How wonderful! You've regaled me with the tale once before, but I would love to hear it again. Oh, and you may be assured I will not come alone. Nice! Alright. Coming is more fun in pairs. The more the merrier. What? I was on lights? Oh. <laughs> you know what? That's fitting. You being on you being in tech? Part of tech crew? Ugh. Okay. Alright. Should I wait for my chicken nuggies? They're almost here. He should be coming up in any second. I don't want to engage if there's gonna be like a cutscene, which I have a feeling there will be. Next year I was acting, they wrote me into it. Tell us more. 
I want more lore. Oh my god, we're getting more feet picks. We need a Final Fantasy XIV Trauma Club? That is simply just the server. Our server is a trauma club. <laughs> That'd make a good FC name, Trauma. Oh my god, could you imagine? I don't know if that fits. I think it's like, isn't it like max five letters? Yeah. I tried making it piss and they said it was a banned word. So I couldn't make us piss. And I'm really sad about it. Trauma. Trauma. Pain. Pain's a good one. Or oof. Oh, ouch! Piz. Piz. I really like it being ooh woo, but I definitely feel like we can make it something funkier. What if, what if we made it? Hmm. What if we made it, oh no. We can make it, oh no. Or we can make it pee pee. Can I make it pee pee? Or is pee pee also banned? There's, surely they wouldn't ban pee pee. Oh! Yeah, I kind of like oh no. It's oh no or uh oh. <laughs> But Uwu is also so cute. The Coven of Uwu? The Cult of Uwu? Why not Coven? Because we're already called the Coven. I don't want that to be Coven. You know? The Coven Uwu? The Coven of Uwu? Mint? No, hell no. Because then mine will look like Peppermint Mint. Tea? Ayo, tea? Ayo, word? Welcome to the Coven of Piss, exactly. Welcome to the Coven of Piss. Would you like free piss? Yeah, so um, Elise has a has a, um, a piss stand in front of our home. She sells a uh, free piss. I'm very proud of her. Sybil is doing the Lord's work. The Cult of Cthulhu. I want a bunch of y'all named after teas. No, we're just named after spices. That's why we're the spice rack. Pepper's sister is basically tamarind. Tamarind sauce. We named her um, Amari, but with the T apostrophe, so she's Tamari. I was watching Vampire Diaries today and I thought about it some more. I think if Pepper were to, I think, I think what I might do is have Pepper have like an older sister and older brother and they're twins and one is Amari and one is Alaric. Cause I love the name Alaric. And I love the character from Vampire Diaries, so I was like, fuck it. Amari, Alaric, they're twins, and that's why Alfino and Alize mean so much to her. <laughs> spice? Oh, Spice could be cute. No, I'm gonna keep it Ubu for now. Oh, Psy cried 39 times? I did. Unfortunately. I once met a guy named Big Big Big. It was terrifying. Ooh, that's a big boy. I need a big boy. I need a big boy. No, I don't like Chalky. <laughs> Kenley! Thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs. To everybody who got gifted sub, welcome to the coven. I hope you enjoy your badge, your emotes, and your stay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, is my food here? Is 
said he's arrived. Oh, I think I, I smell it. Chat, I think I smell it. <laughs> I swear I smell Popeye. Or maybe I'm hallucinating. <laughs> I don't see anything yet. I do have strong sniffers. My sniffers do be sniffering. Those Bridgeton nose has been activated. and Waldo didn't know? Are you telling me that Waldo didn't smell it, but I did? It said it's been delivered. I don't see the shadow by the door. That's because Waldo was fast asleep in the living My nose knows. The nose knows. I told you, I smelt my Popeyes. I'm gonna go lay down with Waldo. Okay, go cuddle the baby. My two babies cuddling. How cute. Anyone else wanna go cuddle? Any of my other babies wanna go cuddle? Give me some nugs. Hell no, nah, they're my nugs. Okay, chat, I have OBS opened again. Can I get some um, Popcat spam? I want to see if it's um, freezing again. Oh, perfect. It's no longer freezing. It's back to normal. Hell yeah. See the difference? Do you see what I mean? Look at that. It's like glitching a little bit, but it's not that bad. Thank you, chat. Doing the Lord's work. Okay. Let me just get my my plate set up. <laughs> Why don't they ever give me a spoon or a fork when I order my mashed potatoes? Okay, chat. Ready? Here we go. There you are. Between the four of us, I dare say we've swept the crustarium from top to bottom. Now we need but wait for the people to gather. What scene time? Oh, watch there be some drama. <gasps> if Aardvark appears. Oh, fuck. This is gonna be good. This is gonna be so good. Yes, this looks to be nearly everyone. Let us begin, shall we? Though I am usually the first to hold forth at such events, I think on this occasion that honor should fall to you. Me? They would be more inclined to take the word of the Warrior of Darkness. Fair. Indeed. In light of the subject matter, who better than thee to speak these truths? Get it? In light? <laughs> Okay. Well, here I go. Pumpkin 
Sweetie Burmers over here. That's not what happened to you. Wicked White. The Warriors of Light did all that? <laughs> so they never... I mean, they only ever wanted to help. And when everything they'd done turned to ash, they still carried on. They gave everything to stop the Flood. First their lives, then their souls. And they managed it too, in the end. They saved us. And we cursed their names. This should go a long way towards clearing the air. What if this is all a mistake? Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, he's he shaved! Impossible. Oh, I like dry swallowed my fucking my, the breaded piece of the chicken nugget. Oh my god. You can see him too? I definitely see something. You don't think it's a ghost, do you? Nay. I don't know. Yonder standeth no bloodless apparition, but a warrior of light and darkness both. Ardbert. What in the world? It's you! The one who slew the Eater! That it should be the warrior of darkness who brought the truth to light. You've saved me a fair bit of time. Though I have a few words of my own to say, if I may. Ah! People Aww. of the Crystarium! I am Ardbert. I'm so One nervous, One of those chat. you know as a warrior of light. That's impossible. You should be dead. Yeah. Aye. That I should. What the fuck is with everyone But as the world has been given you life, so too have I. I know not why I, and I alone, have been gifted this chance. But I do know this. Only by the will of the star itself could such a miracle come to pass. The hero who stands before you now, the warrior of darkness, is not of this world. And the day will come when she must return to her home. Bro, why are you exposing me? But this land is our home. And if it is to remain so, now and forevermore, it is we who must protect it. The time to rely on saviors from afar has passed. It is you who must rise. You who must become the new warriors of light. What? Us? Warriors of light? None of us were born heroes, my friend. I was only ever a man with a thirst for adventure. But wherever my journeys took me, I was invariably confronted with the same choice. To lend what aid I could to those in need, or not. And I always chose the former. I'm so fucking nervous, Chad. Any one of you could do the same. All you need is the will to help your fellow man. His voice is suddenly really and loud. And the resolve to see it through. Oh my god, I'm scared. I'm I'm so nervous. I'm so nervous.
Pepper suspects From something. From thine own lips did we learn of Ardbert's fate, and by thy countenance I gather thou art not inclined to recant thy testimony. Yet whosoever this man may be, his words hold truth and resonate with the citizenry besides. No! For us to voice our I, doubts here I have now a theory? would serve but to sow disquiet. No, no I... better we no. retired unto the ocular and there discuss no. this matter in private. I, mm. Yes, Go. please. I will stay here and watch. Thank you. I, that's not him. That's not him. That is somebody else. That There is no way. Ardbart is in me. He is in my Punani. That is not him. That is somebody else. The same fucking shit with Xenos and all them? Nah. I don't trust this shit. I don't trust it. So, small trap. that is a Just warrior of trap. light of the first. I've not had the pleasure of making his acquaintance, but as you all seem to be in agreement, I gather this is no simple case of mistaken identity. As far as I was able to discern, that was indeed hard, but it has been a long time, but not that long. Could he truly have been resurrected as he claims? No, absolutely not. Looks like him and sounds like him, but it isn't him. Not the first one, not absolutely not, because I've seen some crazy shit go down. I'm gonna say the second one. Let's go. Ardbert did entrust his very soul unto thee. I see no reason to question thy judgment. I told you he's in my punani. Nor I. To my eyes, your ether burns as brightly as the day you slew Emmet Selk. That is proof that he is with you still. Yet that which standeth now before the people is far more than a passing imitation. I am reminded of the cardinal virtues. Though a sin eater, mm. he is not. Which leaveth but one plausible explanation. That he is an ass. Yeah! Yeah! That's what I'm fucking saying! That's what I'm fucking saying! Given That's what I'm fucking for saying, bro! Possession, I would have to agree. From what I understand, the Warriors of Light were laid to rest in Yulmore by those whom they had aided in life. At the time, some few still remembered them as heroes. Needless to say, four of them were subsequently exhumed <gasps> to serve as the Virtues. What? No. And if one knew where to look, Ardbert oh too would god. not have been difficult to find. Oh my god, my mind is, is buzzing! Assuming then that this is indeed the work of an Asian. My mind inevitably turns to the last remaining paragon to survive the Sundering. Elidibus. Edible! Edible! That Xenos hath reclaimed his own flesh is known. Aha! Thus, so where did evicted edible from go? his borrowed form, and cognizant, no doubt, of Emmet Selk's failure here in the first, it is quite possible the emissary chose Ardbert for his next vessel. Oh my Inhabiting God. the flesh of the fallen, oh my God. I, that is unsavory. Oh, this is so and juicy. And they do this often, you say? This is so juicy. Verily. For they possess no corporeal forms of their own. In what one may term their natural state, none Hell save Luke those Guyen. gifted with the echo can perceive them. Thank you for the recent. Um, Indeed, when Elidibus intruded upon the waking sands, his presence did go unmarked by all save Minfilia and the Warrior of Light. On that occasion, I myself remained ignorant of his coming until after his departure. It was only at a later juncture, when he deigned to appear before me in borrowed flesh, that I was finally able to take the measure of him. In such puppetry do the Asians engage when they seek to influence the course of history. 
and they have gained much by it. Emmet Selk single-handedly built the Garlean Empire in this manner, while La Hebrea came close to conquering Eorzea, having taken possession of Thancred's living body. Thancrosy. Yet it must needs be noted that the Asians cannot avail themselves of all mortal vessels. For were they able to do so, none would serve as a better pawn than our own redoubtable champion. Mayhap the blessing of light shieldeth Hydelin's chosen from Asian influence. Mm. Or mayhap other forces are at work. We cannot say for certain. What if there's an Asian Whatever the reason, I, I hope know. it holds true. I dare not contemplate what might come to pass otherwise. Is it not peculiar, then, that Arbert's mortal remains should be susceptible, given that he was once a warrior of light? Or did the final departure of his soul make it possible, perhaps? Regardless, to hear an Asian use him to call forth new warriors of light boggles the mind. Elidibus hath ever been an enigma, his ostensible purpose being to preserve the balance between light and dark. When he made overtures towards me, however, I was afforded a glimpse behind the mask of the self-appointed emissary. I shall not defend mine actions, undertaken in pursuit of a better understanding of our foe as either wise or prudent. Nevertheless, what little I did glean may now prove useful. Elidibus possesseth a subtle mind, practiced in the art of manipulation. That he coax this star's most valiant heroes as far as the source with naught save half-truths is no trifling feat. And now, I believe, he doth employ his skills once more to some as yet unknown end. Though naught is certain, should my suspicions prove true, we shall have need of all our wits if we are to uncover and thereafter thwart his plot. I'm so excited, chat. Agreed. Tis plain that simply speaking out against him will not avail us. At best, it would only serve to confuse the people. And I would hesitate to do anything which might tarnish Ardbert's reputation once more, nor yours by association. The plot just got so fucking That being juicy. the case, it may be wise to keep a covert eye on this Ardbert's movements, as we attempt mm -hmm. to discern his purpose and how best to mitigate his influence. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What? His performance appears to have concluded. What now? Go back out and follow him? It would appear Master Alfino already hath pursuit in mind, and I suspect one pair of eyes shall better serve our cause than half a dozen. Let the rest of us maintain an inconspicuous distance, for the present at least. Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. No, don't be suspicious. Don't, don't be suspicious. Okay. Oh my god. I'm so excited. Holy shit. Ah, uh, man, I... I, I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it. I'm surprised, but like I'm not. I knew it. I fucking knew it. I knew it. I knew some Asian shit was going on with that. <clears throat> okay. Sorry, let me just like clear up my little table so we can get back into this. I am scared. Just smile, chat. It's okay. Just smile. Whoo! All right. I'm good. God damn! This game is so spicy. Where's my lipstick? Chat, I think I lost my lipstick. Chat, I lost my lipstick. How am I gonna fix my lips? 
Bro, I have like nothing on my desk. How did I actually lose my love stick? All right, give me one second. Let me go grab a new. You smash potatoes? I should. I should. So, Edible is harboring Ardbert's body. But, like, what? But what does he expect to, to get out of this? Do you like Ardbert's clean-shaven look? No, he looks too much like Jay. with my lips I just wanted to touch them up because I was eating <gasps> mommies with furrowed brow the crystal exarch deliberates your next move hey hunter I'm good you did well to dispel the falsehoods surrounding the warriors of light and their actions prior to the flood though I must say the reappearance of Ardbert or rather one who appropriated his identity was a rather curious development. He is an imposter, of that there is no doubt, but to the masses he will appear as a hero returned from the grave. After the warriors of light were laid to rest in Yulmore, the people prayed fervently for their gods to deliver them from their plight. Pray that these fallen heroes be born again for their sacrifices. But bitter irony. I, for one, would like to know why Ardbert urged the people to become warriors of light themselves. Ere we take action, we must needs ascertain his intent. Let us pray that Master Alpina returns soon with the most essential knowledge. For now, I think it best to apprise Thancred and Reen of our efforts. When we do confront Ardbert, we shall no doubt have need of their strength. Agreed. I think it prudent we all take measures to prepare for what's to come. Becklug and I will continue our research into how we might improve the spirit vessel, that it might one day carry you home. God, the lighting in this room is so good. Like, the quality bangs. Hmm. And I think it is time to return to the Great Wood. Until now, everything we have learned of the Asians have been handed to us at their leisure. Or leisure, rather. But that was a but that was one of Emmett Selk's unique failings. I have no reason to think Elidibus will be as forthcoming. Fortunately, I recently received word from Fanau that heretofore that was a Fano, Fanau? That heretofore unexplored chambers have been discovered deep within the Katana Ravel. Almet believes the relics within tell of a great calamity that befell an ancient civilization, that of the Asians, perhaps. They may lead us to the truths we seek. Would you care for company? I wouldn't dream of going without you. When you are ready, make for Fanel. Almet and her sisters will be expecting us. Then let us be about our task. Pray, give my rewards. The, the V's? The sevenths? The V's? V's? Like the Vieras? The V's? The V- Yeah, the V's, the Vieras, I guess. I don't know. Here to Foronix Four Chambers? Oh, you mean my vagina? Exactly. Exactly. Alright. Going back to... Is it Fanoff? Fanoff. Fanoff. I don't even remember. How goes the Avengers of Pepper? They are... Ah, things are spicing up quite a bit. The Warrior of Light, Ardbert, has returned. But not the way that we anticipate. He is His body is currently being occupied by Elidibus, another Asian, Or that is what we believe. Um, but yeah. Shit is... Shit is going... Is going. Oh, hi, Apple. Hey, hello. Hey, Dickwood. Hello. Nah, don't worry. You're not late. Don't worry about it. It's nice to see you. Okay, so I go this way. 
<laughs> Somehow Aardvark has returned. <laughs> Welcome, allies of Ronka. We have accomplished much since last you came. With the Light Warden dead and its minions dispersed, we have at last reclaimed our hunting grounds near Raktika Falls. It was there that we discovered more ruins. Although we ran afoul of no traps while exploring its halls, we determined that the innermost chambers were, wardened, were warded by magic. We all were in agreement, but before investigation could proceed, you should be summoned. We are grateful that you did. From what you have told me, I strongly suspect that the wisdom my comrades and I seek can be found within. The wi this wisdom could prove invaluable, for we may have s may woo, for we may soon face a foe whose greatest asset is our ignorance. I see. Then it's good that you have come. Whoa. Then it's good that you have come. Faranka was once home to the greatest of weapons, knowledge and understanding, and it's our duty to ensure you and yours do not want for either. That said, we must proceed with caution. To have reached the inner chambers unmolested it suggests a more formidable deterrent yet lies within. And come now, surely any threat sleeping within the rules pale in comparison to those we have faced thus far. This is not a game, sister. You should not be so eager to run headlong into danger. Oh, and who was it pining for the return of our allies that we might venture into the ruins? Clutching her staff at night, wishing it were... You promise not to tell! What? Wishing it was what? How nice it just we be going. Hold on, I want to know more. Get back here! Sisters, what is going on? What is the tea? Remind me, exactly how old are you and your sisters? On second thought, perhaps it's for the better, I don't know. Pray forgive their overzealous nature. None save we three have been privileged to escort you and yours into the ruins and bear witness to its secrets. Their hearts now burn with curiosity that is not easily satiated. Please, you needn't apologize. As a seeker of knowledge myself, I understand full well their enthusiasm. And if not for your sedulous efforts to protect the ruins, we would not be afforded this opportunity. Speaking of which, I believe I have kept you away from the ruins long enough. Come, let us make for the katana ravel. My like... My gums over there feel kind of funny. Speak with Omet? Alright. She, she drew Pepper's face on her staff. Me. Me with Orchifont every night. <laughs> Using stuff as a warrior of light body pillow? Ain't that all of us though? Yo, the day y'all see me with a body pillow is the day I've finally lost my senses. Mark my words, that will never happen. I will not be a body pillow. Fiend. Okay, so next week then, clip a chat. Hey, listen. I'm just saying. Oh my god. Isn't this where Emmett saved Ishtola? And I had to whistle for him like a dog? <laughs> ah, good times. Good old Shadowbringers. You say that now? I say it now and I mean it. Don't believe her delusional lies? What? I am not lying. I refuse to have a body pillow. And if I have a body pillow, it's not gonna have a character on it. Okay? Ooh, a duty. It is most strange for these halls to be left unguarded. Have care when breaking the seal on the chamber door. Danger surely surely awaits us on the other side. It is recommended that you set aside sufficient time to view these scenes in their entirety. Ooh. Ooh. Chai, you know what that means. It's time. Did you say you refuse to like Emmett? Um, I don't like him. 
I, I don't like him. So you're saying I shouldn't send my Emmett Selk Orchon double body pillow set that I got packed up right now? Um, why would I want that? I mean, I'll take the Orsha but I don't want the M itself. It's fine. <laughs> Come. Our new discoveries are to be found this way. Isn't this where I slayed the Light Warden that was here? Wasn't it like a two-headed dog or something like that? The people of Ronka are known to have venerated animals, but these features do not match those of any indigenous species. This is no common beast. Kind of thick, though. Though that much is plain from its proportions. Girl, look at the teeth. Lifelike, is it not? One could almost imagine it breathed. <laughs> this owl, by contrast, seems no different from the others we've seen. Yeah, I remember using those in like those puzzles. The sealed door lies ahead. Why did she cut her off so quickly? like that. One missing? Yeah. As you see, one statue is missing. I expect we are meant to replace it as before. Puzzle. Are they gonna take the ones from over there? Oh my god, is it a trap? Oh no. Oh no, is that thing gonna reanimate? Too simple. There will be some additional defense mechanism. Yeah. I feel like it's gonna reanimate. What do you see? Just a moment. There are words carved into the stone. A warning? He who would disturb a hero's deserved slumber. Don't do it. Don't do it. Shall instead. Don't do it. Don't do it. the beast. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. His folly. Stop! Stop! Wait! Don't! Oh. Oh no. What? But I only. What is happening? Why am I not surprised? Prepare yourselves. I got big ol' boombaloombies! Oh! Oh, me too, okay. And that's back. What's that? Oh! <laughs> what? What? Two 
activity commenced. The trespass mortal upon sacred ground. In retribution, four souls have I bound. Okay, Waka. Yet to heroes proven, learned, and wise, a comrade's soul shall be their prize. If you would see they're set free, answer me these riddles three. Alrighty, what you got for me? Deft of paw with kin do I vie, though sought apart, betterment of the whole do our efforts descry. What am I? Deft of paw with kin do I vie, though sought apart, betterment of the whole do our efforts descry. What the fuck? I don't even remember what these are. Uh, cat? I think? Or owl? Bird? Monkey? Deft of paw? Opo opo. Chocobo? Oh, coli colibri, whatever. Oh, okay. Cat. The last was the- I- that's what I was gonna pick first! Fuck! Ah, oh, I was gonna pick the Opo Opo! For this mistake, I- a single talisman I shall take. Oh my god, what? Oh, I was gonna pick that one! Why did I go with the cat? With fearsome fang, I travel with pack. Together we find harmony, and thus for peace, our land does not lack. What am I? Doggy? This one? Wolf statue? Yay! Spirit of the wolf. The doctrines praise that they would know peace and harmony to the end of their days. Okay, so I recovered one sister. One is gone! On my belly do I crawl, by my strength does prosperity reign within our hall. Snake? On my belly do I crawl. Oh, stop it. Serpent. Okay, sick. The dread serpent turned protector, lured to slumber, to tear the world asunder. Fuck, but I I'm missing one of them. I should have just went with the Opo Opo. That's what I was gonna fucking pick. Alright, Ishtola, come on. Desire you that which I yet claim, then we shall play another game. Yes! Let's keep going. I'm not done. Give me your fucking riddles, bestie. Has some mind and memory wisely, and you all may yet go free. Okay. Fix the talismans, hide friend and foe. Choose your companion as well, or sorrow no. What? Free your comrades and talismans. We must choose carefully. Fucking shitting me. Like discernible differences. They all look identical. Do I just have to pick random ones? thinking maybe it's based off of how they were positioned up there. Maybe this one then? Okay. There's one. Oh wait, I have to find a pair. Okay, well, do I get... Do I do it like that? Or do I have to find literally a pair? Fuck, I have to find a pair of them. Okay. 
I got your stola. Okay. Um, sick. No, there's no way it's gonna be that one. I guess this has to be any pair, right? <laughs> Maybe? No? No, it has to be- it has to be their pair. Oh, fuck me! Right! Right. Fuck me! Okay, is it this one then? Just literally match them up. God. All right, there we go. To go through every single fucking card. Your comrades are assembled together at last. Indeed. It still there remains one trial you must pass. Okay. If you would glean the knowledge and shrine in this earth, I would first take the measure of your worth. You gonna fuck me up? One worthy of she who the Ronkins extolled must be strong of mind, body, and soul. Yeah. What's up, this? Finally, that's what I was expecting to find. <laughs> yeah, we did. No mess! Take it and then like wait no wait eh 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 oh oh this is going to oh. leave a mark Did I have to like make them like hit each other well too late I guess Definitely not, but I'm gonna stay here anyway. <laughs> Not bad?
did the thing. Thank you, Rat Rock. I appreciate it. Good night, uh, Perfect Calm. It would seem the magics have returned us. How polite. Now, what have we learned? Ah, we were bound to run into a living statue eventually. And now we can open the door. Not wrong. Still too easy. I don't know. Something really fucking bad is gonna happen. He who would disturb a hero's deserved slumber. A tomb, just as I thought, befitting a hero. That's a huge fucking tomb. She is Vis. Could that be the Archmage Tuna? A legendary hero of Ronka, as you surmised. The tales tell of how she smote entire armies with a single incantation so potent was her spellcraft, though she ever fought in the name of peace. I thought them no more than tales. To think she really existed. Well, I for one always believed. By the light of fallen stars, great power awakens. Tuna was not only a master of spellcraft. It is said she could see truths long lost and hear the voices of men's hearts. Not less yeah, than the echo. echo. Yeah. In which case, None of this is mere coincidence. A shower of stars setting the sky aflame. And in both this world and the source, we find individuals within whom a mysterious power awakened at the sight. We can never unpick the why of it. Now, however, I believe we might. Does the scene depicted here not resemble the one we saw when we first ventured into the Katana Ravel? Moreover, does it not recall that which Emmett Selk invited us to witness in Amarot? Mm -mm. mm. The final days. If, as the Exarch's research suggests, soul and mind share a fragile yet profound bond, might it not be possible for an event to leave such a deep imprint upon the soul that it could be perceived eons later, given a suitable trigger? The Echo defies explanation by conventional etherological theory, or shall we say modern etherological theory. But if it is a power that once belonged to the ancients, to souls yet undivided, Ah, it would seem I have entered the realm of pure speculation, and I call myself a scholar. I shall refrain from making any further wild claims until such time as I have evidence. Still, I cannot choose but be reminded of our experience in Amarot. Oh, 
Which line do I pick? Then you must recall Emmett Selk's dying request. I will not soon forget it. <laughs> Remember us. Remember that we once lived. <laughs> uh, I'll go with that one. Remember us. <laughs> History is learned, not lived. We have always protected the tales of Ronke, just as we have protected this place. But we are mindful of what our mothers taught us. We see the past through our own eyes and speak of it with our own words. Thus do we come to understand it in our own way. But this is not the same as remembering. Your mothers were wise. Though we witnessed the final days, our impressions could not fail to be coloured by our own experiences and expectations. Those who lived through it would have perceived the event quite differently. We must bear in mind that it is no simple matter to keep the truth alive or it will die with Emmett Selk and his kin. Why but we I... have disturbed you not long enough. Fana will serve similarly well as a venue for our contemplations. <laughs> Remember we once squelched. <laughs> not Emmett squelched. Not Emmett squelch squelching into my chat. How you doing, Emmett squelch? I missed you dearly. Welcome back, Emmett. Don't worry, we never forgot you, bestie. Remember that we want squelch. Oh, don't worry, I'm not crying. I just have mascara in my eye. And yeah, I'm also drinking caffeine because I'm staying the fuck up. I'm getting through this shit. Not all of it, but a lot of it. The about all these Vieira have such accents that imply they all descended from Fran? Oh, Fran is a babe. A streamer totally doesn't like Emmett? I don't. What possibly makes you think that I like Emmett? Look, I'm telling y'all. How convenient Vijack was gone as Emmett is now here? Look, if Jin can't be my husband, he at least knows that Emmett can be. What? No. <laughs> By your pensive expression, I take it the tomb has given you much to think about. That is well. In time, the knowledge you have gleaned well you gleaned will lead to understanding and thus arm you for what is to come. Before you leave, however, I would speak again of the teachings of our forebears. Of histories learned and not lived. The legend of Tiyuna. It was pronounced Tiyuna, right? And her exploits has been told countless times over the centuries. Yet as it is, yet as it is handed from one generation to the next, the story changes. With each telling of the tale, there are new flourishes. Details change or lost. We can never truly know how she lived, for we were not there to see it. But we are here now to bear witness to your life. We have seen the change you have wrought, the echoes that will endure long after you are gone. And though it too will change in time, I swear to you, we, will, we shall do our best to preserve your story. Thank you. Making me all fucking emotional over here. People forgive me if I don't make an oath of my own, but I think it goes without saying we can never misspeak of your heroism. Perish the thought. So long as we are here, there are none among the V's, the V's who will not know of all of you have done for Norvrant. We are not deserving of such reverence, but we are grateful all the same. You can be certain we will have our own tales to tell of the great guardians of the Raktika and the ruins of Ronka. Orshafa, you're 
thing got undone again, Busty. Let me fix your thingy. Sorry, like and post Shadowbringer Syra, though I can already tell a bit already from the last scene. I'm really enjoying it. Shadowbringers all together is very good, and post Shadowbringers so far has been a very nice treat. I love all the twists and turns. Even though I do believe this game is very predictable, it's it's satisfyingly predictable, you know? I'm really enjoying it. It's very good. <laughs> Shit boy versus rat boy. No! I mean, look. Poop is in the sewers. Rats are in the sewers. And Jin and Emmett kind of go hand in hand, you know? I don't want to spoilers, so I'll just smile about Fran. Just smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. I pray your safe travels then. As ever, we shall await your return with open arms. Shit boy and lava e girl. Guess what I found? What'd you find, Pars? Could you predicted a horsey fart being penetrated? No. I predicted me being penetrated by him, but that didn't fucking happen. Straight into the sewers! One second, chat. Look at Pokemon chat when you get the chance, but... Show me what's inside. I want to know. Right. Orange is my fifth color. No, it's mine. Oh, hi, Warmaku. How are you? Jin, you're... Your name is orange, but I will admit that it does look yellow on some other screens. I'm pretty sure on Twitch it looks more yellow. I've seen it look gold. <laughs> I was making a bad joke. No, I've literally seen his name look gold. And I think, I honestly, I think it's because I had a light mode on or something. I don't know. Maybe you should make it more orangey. Wait, why is orange your favorite color? You couldn't have picked a better color? Purple is right there, bro. Hey, Vlad, welcome back. Welcome back, bestie. Purple is the best color. I mean, orange is cute, but purple? Purple, y'all. Purple. Oh my god, y'all can see my Orshafon rug, finally. <laughs> An old friend. By all rights, you should be departing for the Crystarium, but Ishola does not seem ready to return. Are we gonna go see her boyfriend? Although we learned not of the Asians, the insight we gained into the Echo made our trip worthwhile. Before we return to Crystarium, however, there's a small matter I would attend to in Slitherbow. Might I trouble you to come with me? Hi, bestie. Thank you. After we arrive, we should have a brief word with Runar. Bye, girlies. It's time to see her boyfriend. Jin's shit is orange? What are you eating that's making it orange? What are you possibly eating? God, Runar is so fucking hot. 
God, I am a furry. Pepper, it is so good to see you. You've who the fuck? You've arrived at a most opportune time. I was preparing a pot of my famous stew. Come, already a place for you. I'm sorry, Runar, but we haven't the. Please, I insist. It will take only a minute. <sighs> my apologies, Pepper. It seems our return to the Xerium will be delayed. But perhaps only for a bit, if you assist me with my work. I say work, but it is rather more a chore. I must clean my chambers here in Slitherbow from top to bottom. If you'd be so kind as to go and fetch a broom from Askir, we might finish before Runar is done cooking. She wants me to get a motherfucking broom? Bro, I'm gonna show you my ass gear. What the fuck? Put my ass into gear. He's got a horn. A broom? Or Master Matoya? I cannot imagine why she would have need of such a thing, but here you are. It is old, but sturdy and sure to suffice. Old and sturdy? I mean... There's a quest here that I gotta wrap up, I guess. Oh, and it's a fucking cutscene. Cool. What is this? <laughs> As foretold by the will of the wood, we meet at last. I've been expecting you, Pepper. Who the fuck is this? Shh. No one else was here of this. Not yet. My dreams are plagued with visions of the future. Calamity is upon us, and each night I witness our impending doom. But hope is not yet lost, for the dreams speak to me of a savior in the form of a great serpent. It, it was revered, revered as a god of the days of the Ronkin Empire, and I believe it yet lives in the Great Wood, waiting to be roused from slumber. It has many names. Many would call it the Protector. Some, the Great Destroyer. The wild of the wood, the will of the woods demands I find this great serpent, and is our only hope of salvation. I have been chosen, Pepper, to be the savior of Slitherbo. So this is what you were, you two were, bleh. so this is where you two have been hiding. Now that we've gone to know one another, what do you think? Um, I fear his mind is beyond saving. I refuse to believe that. There has to be something we can do to help him. Have you not sought counsel with the priests? They are your mentors after all. There's no need to keep your troubles from them. Malon, please. We are in the midst of a most important discussion. When you first began talks of these dreams and delusions, I held my peace. But I won't let you drag anyone else into this. Such narrow-minded thinking is why only I have been chosen by the wood. By the Great Serpent. Yes, Quinfort, whatever you say. You've mocked me for the last time, Valan. I will summon the Great Serpent this very day and prove to you the truth of my visions. Alright, bestie. But for wait! Where are you going? Alrighty. To meet with misfortune would likely bring him to his senses. But he's my friend, and I can't stand the thought of him getting hurt out there. Can you help me look for him? If anything should happen to him, I'll never forgive myself. <sighs> well... Well, I'm not gonna wrap that up. I'm gonna continue on with my MSQ. Let me turn off my other side quest so I don't get distracted. Oh, and this one needs to be completed as well. Oh, that's the one in Ralgar's Reach that needs to be completed. Okay. Is it in... Yes. Oh, Ishtola, your room is such a vibe. I love it. I trust Asgir was able to find a room for us. Whatever this, like, little meeting room you have here is, like, this little dining area thing is so fucking cute. Well worn. Good. This would prove difficult otherwise. Well, I must say, I think I did rather well for not having a broom thus far. Is that what you'd call this? Yes, well, you weren't buried beneath a veritable avalanche of books when you entered, were you? Right. Anyway, it is time I finish the cleaning. Finish cleaning with the help of that broom. Alright. Is she gonna make it go swish, swish, swish? Like Matoya's?
He didn't honestly think I'd do it the old-fashioned way. That room is more than capable of seeing by itself. Or, rather, it will be. Ahem. <clears throat> Go on. Do your trick. Let us see it. Time to rise, to swish and sweep. A tidy chamber you must keep. To this task, you shall be bound until no dust is to be found. I am obsessed. I wish I could do this, what the fuck? <gasps> in this one particular respect, I have no objections to following in Master Matoya's footsteps. <laughs> Hey, big boy. In future, I may need you to remind me the pursuit of knowledge does not preclude other preclude other equally important duties, such as maintaining clean quarters for said pursuit. Oh no, don't say anything that he might hear. Don't hurt his feelings. <sighs> I will dearly miss this place. These people. Master Matoya, pardon the interruption, but the stew is ready. Sweet boy. Our sweet boy, Runar. Is something troubling you? And rather quiet. No! Everything is fine, I assure you. It's been a long day, is all. I see. Ishtola! Thank goodness you're still here. Oh! Alfino! Oh! Alize! Alize! Alfino? I thought you were following Ardbert. I was, though I'm sad to say I lost track of him shortly after entering these woods. He seems determined to traverse every elm of Norvrand in his quest to spread the truth of the warriors of light in the flood. And it seems news of your address at the Crystarium precedes him at every destination, making his task all the more simple. It remains to be seen to what end he encourages the people to become warriors of light themselves. But there's no denying that his words have struck a chord with many. Well, we're all agreed that this is just another Asian ploy, yes? They've commandeered corpses before and to no good end. There's no reason to think this is any different, especially when it's that of, our, of a fallen warrior of light. I doubt we'll learn more if we remain a step behind. His next destination is, in all likelihood, Slitherbow. Alize, are you certain you should be here? If you're concerned about Halric and the others, you needn't be. Their treatment is going well, but progress is slow and exhausting. For all of us. The best I can do now is let them rest. So, I believe we were a- bleh. I believe we were about to discuss how to arrange a meeting with our would-be warrior of light. Before visiting any towns or villages, Harbert would hunt down and slay a nearby Sin Eater to earn the locals' trust. Our best chance of getting ahead of him is to find one before he does. Thankfully, Thancred and Reen are returned from the empty and have taken up the search. Oh, yay! Reen believeth one may lurk beneath the bows of Woven Oath. Then that is where we will start our search. Oh, Master Matoya! I, uh, a warm bowl of stew will be awaiting your return. 
I look forward to it. I love them. I love them. No spoilers, but uh, when you get the choice, pick the bratty one. I don't know what you're talking about, but when have I never picked the bratty option? I have zero context, but you damn well know I will. <laughs> Oh, what's this? Oh, this is the other side quest. May as well get it out the way. Over there! I think I see him! Well, it's all on the way. May as well just get this out the way, you know? Right up here. Do a ride in Wado! Pepper, your pussy is out! I ride in Wado, I ride in my Wado, I ride in Wado, he's over here. It's a cutscene. Fuck, it's a cutscene. <laughs> Enough, Quinfort. Even you should recognize the danger of wandering off alone in these woods. <laughs> have gone mad, haven't you? Mock me all you like, Valen. Now you'll bear witness to the truth with your own eyes. Behold, the divine protector of Ronka, the great serpent of legend. No, it can't be. Transform? I see nothing great about that. That. What is it exactly? I refuse to believe that it's a serpent. Please tell me you're joking. What? The fuck? Ha ha ha. Don't be jealous. The will of the wood works in mysterious ways, and the serpent is the key to our deliverance. That? The Great Serpent of Ronka! <laughs> Beautiful. Oh my god, the Great- it's literally called the Great Serpent of Ronka. Scree! Quest later. Amazing. All hail. All hail. Can I get a scree in the chat? Scree! It's kind of cute. I like his teeths. He got little teethies. Scree! Scree! <laughs> So I said delete so many screws and you first unlocked the quest. Oh, were were y'all screaming in chat? <laughs> oh, thank Chrissy. Thank Chrissy. Oh, they found one. They slayed it already. If you are hoping to vent your frustrations on our Issa friend here, I can only apologize. Daddy. Few as they are now, it took us no time at all to track it down. That suits our purpose perfectly. Now we need only wait for Ardbert to arrive. Weren't you two meant to be attending to the empty? We were indeed, and we've made a certain amount of progress. So we thought we might see how the rest of the world was getting on. From what we can gather, the answer is strangely. That's one way to put it. Right now, we think we can do more good here. 
It is heartening to have all present. Indeed. We will be glad of the additional hands should matters escalate. <laughs> Famous last words. Our quarry is come. <laughs> come. Huh. It seems I've lost this particular race. Well, though I suppose it's only fair. When we first met, it was I who outpaced you. Ravana, was it? Oh yeah, Kelsey's daddy. Bug daddy. <laughs> but where are my manners? I wouldn't be here were it not for you, and I have yet to say a word of thanks. This is not what you're talking about, right, Sarnix? Because none of these sound... Okay, that's what I thought. Um... Wait, who the fuck is Cedo again? Oh! The Amaro, right? Amaro... The Amaro was Cedo, right? Yeah, yeah. The Amaro. I remember! It took me a fucking second. Rula Ayachata, and it was pronounced Seto, right or Seto? Look! Oh, come on! Come on! No! Look is an honest mistake. Okay. Look. It's just like someone said, "Who's Waldo?" My poochie. Who is Waldo? Where is Waldo? Why is Waldo? Look, listen. It took me a motherfucking second, okay? Alright? Damn, which one do I go for? You remembered, though. Like Emmett. He's gonna wake up. Yeah, Waldo is absolutely awake now. I heard the pitter-patter. Alright, do I extend a friendly fist and see if he'll fist bump me? Or do I tug on the heartstrings? Which one, chat? Both are really good. Fist him? Ah, now we're back to the conversation of fisting, are we? Well, like I said, I've seen what comes out of a vagina. A fist can fit. I like that convo. I'm sure you did. So this is who's getting fisted. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna pick the fister. <laughs> That's right. Arm giving you trouble? You should have it examined. Boom. Caught. Punch him! Oh. Indeed, Ardbert. I thought you were supposed to be good at this. Kinda like that one. I don't like this one. This one sounds good. I like this one. <laughs> We're gonna get intense. Very zero. well. Let us forego this pretense. After all, it was never you that I needed to deceive. Yes, it is I, Elizabeth. Through your time in Emmet Selk's imitation of our home, 
I dare say you have gained a better understanding of my role since last we met. Not that it matters. We understand your role, Emissary, but not your goal. What is it that you seek to achieve? I seek to enact the will of the Convocation, of course. If it helps you to think of me as but another Asian, no different in nature or purpose from the rest, you are welcome to do so. Once, I would have said your goal was destruction alone. Now I understand that you fight for something you love, just as we do. Yet though we seem doomed to clash, I bid you consider Emmett Selk's final words. Remember that we once lived, he said. Had he not seen some glimmer of hope in our kind, I do not believe he would have spoken thus. None better understood your plight than he. His words must surely be worthy of your consideration. The plot is thickening like my soup. Emmet Selk. How very unlike you to err so gravely. That one should stray at the end of so onerous a path is understandable, but I had thought you above such weakness. Mayhap you thought the same. Would that I had been present to offer correction. But I shall do so now, as is my duty, and return all to its proper course. No, 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 no. As for you, Look at yourselves. Look at your history. Look back one hundred short years to how your greatest warriors were undone. And now, at but a word from me, you raise your hands in answer like the puppets you are. Naught has changed. You fail, and you fail, and you learn nothing. Allow that which is most important to slip through your fumbling fingers like so many grains of sand, again and again and again, and you would remember us. You do forget yourselves. Why am I being scolded like this? I didn't ask for this. There is no common ground to be found between you and I, nor do I require any. I have my duty. Wait! Well, we have confirmed the identity of our foe, at least. And tis safe to say his objective is the rejoining. But we yeah. still have no idea how playing the part of a warrior of light will further his cause, nor why he would spur others to do the same. Chaos. Another visit to the Tempest may shed some light upon these mysteries. All right, bet. Whether we are to exchange words or blows with Elidibus at our next meeting, the fact remains, we know too little. Ere our paths cross again, I would learn more of the world that once was, and of Elidibus himself. In this, we would be best served going directly to his home, much as Emmet Selk came to ours. Though I see the wisdom in thy suggestion, the Amorot we visited is but a phantom born of Emmet Selk's memory. I fear it will teach us little that we do not already know. I quite agree. Yet the ruins of the actual city remain unexplored. Hmm. Given the vastness of the Tempest, 
I should not be surprised were there more such structures like to those in which the Ondo reside. I am not looking forward to more underground stuff. There is ought to be learned, I want to know for want of a better option. As long as you don't make me do any more chores. Keep that up and I'll send you to bed without supper. Mommy! Mommy out Assuming we are all in agreement, then I suggest we first pay a visit to the Ondo. If anyone can tell us where more ruins are to be found, Mommy! it is them. She's gonna punish me! Mommy's gonna punish me! I've been a bad girl! I've been such a bad girl, Mommy! Oh. <laughs> I love her! Mother! Give me mother's milk! Oh my god. Bruh. Bro, she, she is mommy as fuck and she knows it. She about to bend me over. Oh, love her. Mommy stole a scold you after you just got scolded by one old ass dude. I know, the scolding begins. First she said she'd take you across her knee. Now she's sending you to bed without supper. I literally want her to fist me. When? When do I ever- When- When will I get my own Ishtola? I want a mommy like that. Sorry chat. One second. Thank you for the hydration. Look, is it because I'm thirsty? Look, if I'm thirsty, then we all need to be drinking some water. Come on chat, drink your water. Thirsty ass bitches, let's go. Okay, maybe the Ishtola body pillow is what I'll get. Maybe that's what I'll get, chat. But not Emmett. I wouldn't want to get an Emmett body pillow. I don't know if it'll last. can kneel and act as a chair your soul sits on to spank you? Yes. <laughs> I'm so flustered now. Like, what is it about Ishtola that just makes me blush? Like, the power that this woman has over me Hi, you are so beautiful. K make eye contact with me. Why are you shy? Why are you looking away? It's okay, look at me. Come on, bestie. I don't bite. Hi. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Emmett Squelch indeed. No! I'm gonna get all my goo. No, I'm not finishing that sentence. We're gonna show you. I do not. I do not mean to be speaking with you. I do love this though. I'm gonna take a screen cap of that. Beautiful. No, I'm trying to speak with mommy. I'm trying to speak with mommy. Yeah. Hey, mommy. Cannot see target. Yes, I can. Deep designs. You still would have you depart from the tempest without delay. Alfino has the right of it. Let us pay a visit to the Ondo. We should speak with Tosh. Uh, with Tosh. Off first. As chieftain, he is doubtless privy to a great many secrets. Oh no, this means I have to go on the water. Wait, why am I a why am I in a party with Sarnix and Jin? What are you two plotting? Where am I going? Where are you taking me? The four hour mark. What's the four hour mark? 
My goddess soul always reminds me that I am simply a lesbian. Literally awkward. Anytime I have a moment where I'm like, damn, am I pan? Because all the characters in the game that I'm simping for seem to be mask. Ishtola opens her mouth and I'm like, right. <laughs> Alrighty. Where are we going? Over here. I just want to clip that moment with you still a little later, but... Or young Jane's back in the pick, barely. <laughs> She's the first! <gasps> I forgot that they have a clit. I have sent for no finless ones. Perhaps you instead come seeking something of us? Please be voiced. Please be voiced. It's not gonna be voiced. Ruins which you kind have yet to explore. I see. I know of one such place. Alas, under these circumstances, I am afraid we cannot we can spare none to guide you there. And what circumstances are these? Rather than hunt for my for their own meals, the benthos have pillaged our stories our stores of Muriel liver. They must be replenished with haste. The benthos. A particularly violent tribe of Ondo, if I recall. Band of bottom feeders. We all lost much in the flood, but while others work to rebuild, they resort to thievery and murder. Revenge, they call it, when they prey upon your kind. But do not be fooled. They care not who they harm. Would that we have the warriors to challenge them. This is not the first time they have stolen from us, but there is no resource more precious than liver. All must dedicate themselves to the hunt. Unless, of course, we were to reclaim the livers for you. It seems a fitting payment for vital information, does it not? Moreover, one could argue that by simp by employing a bis mm. by employing Bismarck to reach these depths, thereby driving back the waters, we are in part responsible for the deeds of those driven to desperate ends by ch changing climes. Ooh, fumble there. One good turn and all that. We certainly can't leave them like this. Could we not simply hunt near 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 ourselves? <laughs> We might, but that wouldn't discourage the benthos from stealing the Ondo again, now would it? Proclaim the store as it is, then. Ugh. You would be grateful beyond words if you did. The benthos have surely taken the livers back to the flounder's floor. Be warned, there'll be no shortage of guards waiting to spear intruders. And we will have care not to draw their attention. Shall we? Well, retrieve the meow yeah, liver from the founder's flow. Oh, are you gonna be my Uber? Wow, see that? While you're being a normie and not Ubering me, Sarnix has to do the job. See that? Hmm. Look at that. Maybe you're not the favorite anymore, Jin. Hmm. Oh well, at least I have a view. My Ubu Javier. At least I stop when you need to stop. True. <laughs> Thankfully, you listened to my safe word. Straight guys eat some free stola, but then Graha does some cute and something cute in a wound. I go, hmm. Graha Tia is a fucking puppy. I love them. I love him. He's so soft. It's so hard not to, like, I don't know, not to swoon. He's not my type. Oh shit, my bad. But I'm simping nonetheless. All right, I'm feeling up myself. Thrusting your hand into each sack and turn, you find that all are filled with wheat down to the bottom. You also find that raw wheat is unpleasantly pointy. I do not like that sentence. 
I don't like that at all. Alright, I'm feeling up this melon. On cursory sniff, you detect the faint aroma of fresh oranges. A far cry from the rather memorable scent of meh meh liver. I don't want to thrust my hand into anyone's sack, alright? They're not my type, but I'm sipping on the last title of this game. True! True! These boxes are filled with sort of vegetables. Liver is not a vegetable. Wow, great observation, Peppy! with remarkable swiftness. Danker taught her well. Oh, can I walk in this? I can. Could it be somewhere in here? Oh. Maybe over here? Found some more sacks that I'm thrusting my hands in. From the squelch- From the sk- These bags are bursting with livers. Brilliant. Everywhere I go, I hear his squelch. Are those them? Perhaps you've deduced this already, but it seems the Benthos have been raiding Calusian storehouses as well as those of the Ondo. Oranges, pumpkins, wheat. <gasps> but we can discuss this after we see the liver safely back to Tulsa. To Tuls Tulsh off. It wouldn't do to keep him in suspense. Righty. By the by, milady, would like to return via teleporter by my lift service, madame. Um. Can I just TP? Yeah, bitch, I'm TPing. I don't need your lift services, Sarnix. Even my footsteps squelch? Yeah, everything reminds me of him. Everything. Every sound, every crevice reminds me of my squelch. I'm relieved to see you unspeared. I am also relieved to see me unspeared. Though I wouldn't mind a little bit of spearing here and there. From certain NPCs. Our precious livers! I knew you would not fail. We all we also found all manners of foodstuffs from Calusia on the Flounder's floor. Tell me, Tulshoth, does that seem odd to you? It is brazen, to be sure. I'm reminded of rumors I've recently con of, I've heard recently concerning a rash of thefts from Calusian Calusian warehouses. The, per the perpetrators enter in the dead of night and are gone before anyone has realized what has happened. The Lamoran army has been investigating, but thus far to no avail. Perhaps the reason they have struggled so is that their quarry is at the sea. The true question then is that is what we mean to do about it. Much as I would like to proceed to the, the ruins without further delay, we cannot allow the benthos to carry on as they are. If I may, I believe that ruins are, in fact, key to the benthos' plan. Oh? Is that so? These ruins, which lie deep within the illuminated land, are a recent discovery. We have seen signs the, that the benthos are preparing to claim them with all haste. We could not fathom why, but in light of the knowledge that they have been stuck. But in light of the knowledge that they have been stockpiling resources... Reading is hard. It's clear that their queen will soon give birth. 
They require space to raise their young and food for both queen and hatchlings to thrive. Well, we can hardly fault them for that. Under normal circumstances, perhaps, but conditions in the Temptress are far from suitable for spawning. Its roosters are barely able to sustain our current population. There's only one reason they would disregard this. They seek to build an army, and with it take advantage upon the Finless. It is not a surprise. They came to us not long ago, seeking allies for the cause. We rebuffed them, of course. The suffering of others will not serve as balm to their own. Their queen, however, desires only bloodshed, and will gladly send her children to die in her stead. Oh, fuck. If they are planning to wage war, that changes matters considerably. Indeed. I doubt this can be resolved with, without violence, but perhaps with a show of force we can convince them to receive reason before the, die is, before the die is cast. I'd rather not risk your people in the attempt. If you travel to the illuminated land, is there a way we might identify the ruins ourselves? Yes. Once you reach its depths, go deeper still. You will see a monstrous structure, structure there upon the seafloor. That you have that you have come to us now is the will of the ancient ones <laughs> they have guided you here that you may drive out the usurpers those who seek to use their magnificent creations with a vile purpose i have no doubt that they will show you the way forward hmm. i'm afraid that the dead do not speak quite so clearly nevertheless we should try not to disappoint if what we seek lieth deeper still beyond amarat I would call upon the assistance of another. What? Oh! Oh! Which one's cute, chat? Which one do I get? Which one? 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 I'm thinking slaying, maybe. Maybe I can get something spicy for my dragoon. Sorry, I'm just gonna stretch. Can we take like a two minute break so I can stretch it out? The arthritis is arthritis. I mean, they are accessories. True, they are. But my Dragoon accessories are dog shit if I'm not wrong. Uh, give me one second. I'm just gonna stretch chat. Cause I...
Hi, chat. Okay, are we all good to continue onward with the MSQ? I know it's getting kind of late. It's 1 a.m., but I would love to do a little bit more. Are we all all right? I just want to make sure that we're all... That we're all good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone seems okay. Yes, nods. Yeah, 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 Okay, good. Good, 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 good. If the general consensus agrees, then we're chilling. Y'all like my little etherite lamp? Ain't it cute? Let me see if I can show it better if I turn off my light. That's cute, right? Yeah. I think I'll keep my lights off. I'm teleporting to you now, bet. Is that an Emmett picture back there? No. No. Nah. I think you're seeing things. Oh, there's nothing behind me. An Emmett picture in my home? Nah. Nah. <laughs> okay, so I'm assuming there's a dungeon coming up. Um, I'll tank it. I kind of want to do deeps, but I I'm gonna tank it instead. A whale's tail. Stimping for Emmett is okay, is it? Is it though? Thank you for the kiss, Nissan. Though our course hath been decided to pursue it, we must needs beseech the aid of a friend. I, I speak of Bismarck. Pray follow me to Sullen that we might seek an audience with him once more. Look, I just don't want chat to be right. Oh, hello! Do you have my gifts? Do you have my goodies? Oh god, you're so tall. Mommy? Here, I also have gifts for you. I have some speed. Oh! <gasps> So many goodies! So many goodies! Thank you! I appreciate it! Let's see my goods. Ooh, this is kind of sick. That's kind of sick. Oops. Oh, I think I, I think I have this one in my glam dresser. But it's not as good because you crafted yours. Oh, oh, this is dope. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, this one is fucking sick. <gasps> I like it. I like that one. Thank you. I gave you that one before, um, but it's better when it comes from Azure and not you. <laughs> and you said it was shit? You told me you wanted me to equip it. That's the difference. I'm getting this as a gift. <laughs> well, maybe my heart has changed. Maybe I like it now. Maybe I like it now. Nah, I remember. You wanted me to overwrite the glam that I was already wearing because you wanted me to use it in battle. And I was like, nah. You made me equip it, and I couldn't get rid of it after, and I was stuck with it. I remember. I remember. <laughs> Jin, why are you on his side? You're supposed to be gaslighting Sarnix with me. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. Let's see, speak to Uriange in Sullen? Where the fuck is Sullen? Nah, you telling me I have to walk there? Hold on. Let's 
sec. I can't gaslight him. He's in my in-game sugar daddy. Girl. True. You know what? You got me there. You got me there. Do I go to foot job? I guess I gotta go to foot job. I wanna go to foot job. in foot job I am unable to read that as anything else all right come on little chocobo let's run you telling me you tell me that you would not call this place foot job this is foot job to me and you know what what a beautiful place for foot jobs to happen You know, they're not as bad as you think. There are worse things that could be done that did not occur to me at all. Occur to me at all? You're telling me that y'all looked at Fort Job and not think, hey, maybe that's Foot Job? No? Why is everyone more sane than I am? She said a labia sharpener? <laughs> oh yeah, I don't even remember the context for that, but yes. Literally everyone on Ether calls it foot job. Then why does no one on Crystal call it foot job? And con something breast? Why do I have no memory of that either? Oh, the the chimerical breast. No, that I remember actually. <laughs> that one I remember, but I don't remember what I was calling labia. <laughs> oh, lamia or lamia or whatever the fuck, right? <laughs> Sorry, I have bad spelling. I'm glad you understood. It's okay. It's okay. Do not worry. I can't read and I can't speak, so... Nobody on Crystal calls it that because the server is locked. True. I'm the only person actually right now on the Crystal servers. No one else exists. It's just me. Yoshi P shut down the entire data center or whatever the fuck just so I could play. None of these words are in the Bible. <laughs> Pepper 1104, keep your mind sharp and your labia sharp. 
sharper. I really don't know where the labia sharpening came from, and I'm honestly too scared to check. Hi, Ponto, what's up? She's on D's nut server? What? I'm on the D's nut server? What? Goblin these nuts. Get out. Banned. 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 Get out. Get out. Get out. You're banned. There's a place in the crystarium I thought says a moral lunch. A moral lunch? There's a place in the crystarium? A moral lunch? Where the Amaro get to have lunchy? Where is it? Is it the Amaro keep? The balls, the ballistics. Uh, look, I'm reading that as ball sack, so you know what? The Amaro lunch! The Amaro lunch! That's where they go for lunch. Incredible. From here, we press onward to the Isle of Ken. I myself shall proceed on foot. You've perfected, you've perfected your technique then? Just so, the water will be as glass beneath my feet and provideth purchase fragile yet true. Watch closely. Oh, I certainly shall. Forgive me, but would it not be easier to perfect your swimming technique? Okay. Do not come for his throat. I uh, to be a pity if you drown, truly. Oh hush, I'm sure it'll be brilliant. Yeah, watch him wash ashore again though. Wait. Wait. So you can do this, but you can't swim? He's done it. Incredible. This is sick. He's literally Jesus. And you know what? Of course it'd be Shakespeare. Of course it'd be this fuck. Why does something not feel right? of daddy I fucking oh uh, my brother in Heidelin are you okay mine apologies the technique required the purest of focus and mine twas lacking yeah go figure to perfect this magic I went so far as to deal with the foth and with their aid mine efforts my Finally met with success, albeit on a single occasion. I know not why I cannot repeat it. I thought I saw you waver a bit toward the end there. Perhaps you're simply tired? Oh, for once we're gonna acknowledge that we're all sleepy? Oh shit, wait. Thancred? Wait, what's going on? It's nothing to worry about. Only a dizzy spell. Though it may not be wise to go for another swim just now. Have the pixies playing games with us? Thankfully, we have an alternative. A wonderful little invention. I'm certain you'll agree. Is it a boat? A boat. Love me a good boat. Uh, 
I will petition Bismarck's aid on our behalf. Let us pray my diplomacy proveth, proveth more effective than mine experimental magics. Please be a voice cutscene, please. No. Life and luck and love are not on my, on my side. You speak with the voice of the king, little neighbors. I will not deny you. As before, if you seek what sleeps beneath the sea, I will be your guide. Thy kindness is as boundless as the depths, serene one. Before we depart, however, I would ask a favor. After our last flight, I found many creatures clinging to me. I am itchy. Ah, uh, no! What? Remove them and I'll take you below. Bruh. With all haste shall it be done. No! Why? Why do you always put me on cleaning duty? I am the warrior of darkness, bro! So did he agree? I, though I agree, agreed to a favor in kind. Regrettably, it is not one I possess the power to grant. Bismarck hath asked us to cleanse his underbelly of barnacles. <laughs> the last one must needs dive beneath the surface to do so. Even if I could master the power to walk upon it, it would avail me not. Oh, for heaven's sake, is that all? Pepper and I are more than capable of that. Alize, don't sign- No! Do not sign me up! With the Cogent's blessing, we'll have the, we'll have done with it in moments. And better than- Better that than standing here and listening to this nonsense. I'll take the right, you take the left. Now go! Okay, Alize! God! I'll do it with you, bestie. <laughs> I am in your debt. Ah, thank me later, brother. Okay, where am I going? Remove tenacious barnacles. Oh joy. I can't even. What do you mean? What do you mean? Do I just have to go around then? Can I not jump? Do I not have to jump in the water? No? Oi! Over here? Over here? Eh! Eh! There we go. Car. Eh. Oh, there's one there. Scratches itchies. I am scratching those itchies. Indeed. Are you fucking serious? There's one right here. They look like little nipples. That's where Orianger can be a con artist sometimes. You know what? I, I don't know if he could be a con artist per se. That's giving him too much credit. Are we gonna get a call back to Uriante washing up on shore? I think we already did. <laughs> Alright, the barnacles have been removed. Uriante is wise because he knows lying is fun. <laughs> Spreading a little bit of misinformation on the internet as a treat. Okay, can I hop up there? I do not know. This is such a gold over here. Thine efforts are most sincerely appreciated. I will inform Bismarck that we may depart without further delay. Chewbacca. I'm so glad he's making an appearance. Much, much better. Thank you, little neighbors. I remember a long time ago, none of this favor for me. After the flood, when I chose the spot for my slumber, he came and made a home on my back. 
Ken was his name. Ken? When I grew itchy, I stirred. But he was not afraid. No, he asked me what was wrong. I told him of the creatures clinging to my belly, and he dove into the water. He helped me. He was my friend. He told me he wished to live in peace, away from his people and their wars. This I understood. I treasure our time together, brief though it was, brief though it always is. But I remember him, and how he laughed when we flew. I remember when he slept, how I too slept that day, and many days since. But the light fades and the darkness returns. Ken sleeps, but in memory he laughs, and together we fly. I am here. I am awake. Oh, they got me making- it got me feeling all sad over some man named Ken! Hmm. It feels good to speak and to be heard again. A shame others cannot- understand? If thou art willing to learn, I'd gladly teach thee the language of man. Thank you, little friend. But it's time I grant you your request. But first, I will take flight to cleanse my body and prepare. The dive will be swift, and I would not have you struck by errant debris. So this island was named for a man. How well, easily the past is forgotten. He passed not even 100 years ago, yet the truth has slipped from history. Like so many grains of sand. Might I have some explanation for what he just said, or shall we all stand about making vague and mysterious illusions? While he maketh ready to deliver us unto our destination, Bismarck bade us wait for him on the shore of Calusia. That's all? I feel as though there was more to it. Indeed, there was, but it hath no bearing on the task at hand. I should be glad to do the rest with you anon. Oh. <laughs> Fine. Later, then. <laughs> if Bismarck requires time to prepare, might I suggest a short respite? For Uriangier and Thancred in particular. I require no such thing. I am the perfect picture of health. Alright, bestie. Mine was, mine was but a mem momentary... Momentary lapse of it. Fuck me! You mustn't push yourself so. Please rest for me. Oh, not the puppy dog eyes. Oh, well, right, if you insist. You too, Pepper. You've been running yourself ragged. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I had anything but two or three, so I appreciate it. In that case, of the old men in your care, the rest of us will meet you at Split Hall anon. Not the old men. Not the old men! <laughs> oh, word of advice, never let it show. When she realized she struck a nerve, she remembers. By the gods, she remembers. <laughs> in any case, if you must be made to rest, I know a place in Selen that's better for it than most. Come with me. old men I feel called out yeah go to bed grandpa did you finish coils I did finish coils it was very very good may as well have a seat if you wouldn't want our elderly knees to give out okay listen relatable me and my fucking arthritis <laughs> like all right we vibing we chilling we're young jays cross-legged To hear her speak, you think I'm, I'm on my deathbed. Why the 12? I wish that girl wouldn't worry so much. Well, she's she's concerned about her daddies. Thy countenance belies thy words. Um, yeah, Master Thancred. I'm sure I don't know what you mean. Let the record show that I am here under protest. Has Thancred always had sleepy eyes like that? No, I can't say I mind the view. God, he's so hot. And for what? And for what? He's hot and then they gave him a daddy arc? And if the abundance of anglers is any indication, even an amateur might land an impressive catch. Shall we try our hands at it? No, I am not fishing, bro. Help! Someone! <sighs> Quickly! Now, speaking of fisher, or fishing rather, It's 
nightshade. We was attacked on the road with Exterium. Barely escaped with my life. Nightshade. I suppose we might have predicted this. Well, time to aid more civilians. You mean you'll help? For free? Thank you. If I recall correctly, Nightshade is a local band of outlaws. Why don't I remember this? Or do I? I doubt they'll trouble us over much. No more than they already have by interrupting our relaxation, at any rate. Okay, I'm getting tired now. I know like 30 minutes ago I was like, are we good? And now I'm sitting here like, I am not good. <laughs> I am sleepy. Fonto, you are not old. I got a solid dozen on you. Look. Wait, fuck. Look, Ponto may not be old, but I'm still gonna bully him. There's a fate about them, oh is there? He ain't terminesting. God, it's so wild to think that I'm gonna be 26 in a few months. Like, in June, I'm gonna be 26. I don't know why it feels like I'm still 23. Like, when people ask me how old I am, I'm like, I don't fucking know. Kenley! Kenley, thank you for the 10 gifted subs! I appreciate it! Thank you so much to everybody who got gifted a sub. Welcome to the Coven. Hope you're about your mouth and your stay. Thank you! Your 620th birthday. Yes. That is my 620th birthday. I have turned 26 times. You're closer to ball of 30s? Honestly, low-key, I am excited to reach my 30s. I'm 26 this year, too, and I still feel like I'm 22, right? I feel like... Honestly, it feels like, um... Let's see. It feels like COVID fucked up my my timeline, you know? Like, I was 22, I think, 21, 22 when COVID started. I think I was 22. Yeah, I was 22 or turning 22. And it's been like four years, you know? Like, like what the fuck happened? I feel like because I haven't been able to go out and do things, I stopped at 22 and this year I'm turning like 23 or 24. It's really weird. Can you believe it? January is also already almost done. January just fucking started. It was just the new year, like, the other day. Yeah, warp time perception for sure. So it feels like you just stopped my age at 28, right? These two have matters well in hand by the looks of it. Mmm! It's them two! I'll not forget this kindness. May we meet again. Yeah. They, they did say that I'd see them again. Well, here they are. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. Is that you, milady? Don't tell me you would be just deprived that poor fellow the honor of being rescued by the warrior of darkness. We had no idea you were in the area. Fancy us meeting again so soon, eh? Why, I believe I even recognize your companion. <laughs> ah, yes, from the infirmary. You had a message for the Crystal Exarch, did you not? It's good to see you back on your feet, and on patrol, no less. Oh, it's nothing as official as all that. Strictly speaking, we're off duty. But as we had a free moment, we thought we'd give a few of the less traveled roads a look. The, guards doesn't ha the guard doesn't have enough hands to patrol them regularly, you see. Just another dead body back there. Nothing new. That's admirable. There are a few so devoted to their duty, in Lakeland or beyond. Well, we've been talking about it for a while, and neither of us is satisfied with just seeing out our service. Feels like we could be doing more. Like, we should be doing more. 
It's all about having the will to help your fellow man and the resolve to see it through. I remember you, the excitable one. Yeah, I'm not gonna pretend like I forgot who he is. Sorry, milady. I got a bit overexcited the other day. Couldn't get my words out. The name is Vonard. Milady, I'm with the guard, but I don't just want to protect Lakeland. I want to protect the lot. Just like the warriors of light. Sadly, our duties prevent us from venturing too far from our own little corner of Norway. Oh god! Oh. What we'd really like to do is travel, to better ourselves, and go where the need is greatest. But everyone has to start somewhere, don't they? For now, if we can stop Nightshade from robbing the odd fishermen, then that's what we'll do. Oh well, future heroes are the first, do you think? What? They want not for spirit. Tis but a pity they draw a ten inspiration from so clouded a wellspring. Yet it availeth us not to fret in idleness. We must needs press on if we are to bring Elidibus' schemes to light. Is that what it said? Am I even pronouncing that correctly? Still Elidibus? Elder Bussy? Uh, I prefer Elder Bussy. <laughs> I don't know why Elder Bussy is so good. Beneath the surface. Oh, is this the dungeon? I don't think I have the fucking spoons to do a dungeon right now. Thus reminded us, thus reminded of the urgency of your, of your investigation, Uriana Jay would press on. Though our respite was cut short, I dare say we are all eager to avail ourselves of such knowledge as they as ruins may hold. Aye, and I doubt further contemplation of Elder Bussy's machinations will be conductive, conducive to relaxation. We may as well make for the split hull now. Where am I going? Okay, so we're gonna write. Elder Bussy. I, I do think Elder Bussy is simply the best name for a little bus. Edible, pretty good. Little bus, also pretty good. Elder Bussy, however, top tier. Alright, so we just have to go past the docks. Oh my god, I'm so tired. Oh my god, is this gonna be the first night that I go to bed in early time? No, I still have to do my dailies. Chat, I don't wanna do my dailies though. I think like the only thing that I did today was my cack pot, uh, my cack pot cards. Oh, she's sleepy sleepy? I am sleepy sleepy. My sleep schedule has not been good out of, as of late, um, and I'm like trying to fix it with no prevail. Go to bed? I want to, but I also want to keep going. Let me at least go speak with the man. I made it this far. I am lost. Oh, he's all the way up there, isn't he? I only did mining today, like mining in game. God, I forgot that there are gatherer classes too. Like, what is it? Shit, shit. Miner, botanist, and fisher. My miner is at one. I've only done like leather worker, weaver, alchemist, and culinarian. Those are satisfying to do. God. Oh, look, I can see my XP. I can see what's close to lovely. I really want to learn Gunbreaker. I think Darknet and Gunbreaker will be the two tanks that I learn. And I think Astrologian, Astro Astrologian, whatever, and Sage will be the two healers that I know. I don't really care to learn any of these. Machinist or Machinist is kind of cool. I do love Dragoon, and I do love I do love Reaper. I'm gonna learn Black Mage and I think Red Mage because I'm not a fan of Summoner anymore. I don't really, like, I'll, I'll level everything, but I don't care to, like, master any of them. Just put me on Dark Knight and I'm good to go. Dancer is so fun. I'm sure. It's confusing. Like, I don't understand it yet. I remember trying to do the, the um, 
the level 60 duty for it, and I was so fucking confused the whole time. Oh, Lise, you're gonna fucking love it. <gasps> Look at you more, it looks so pretty. All are present, now we need, but await Bismarck's coming. Mm. This looks voiced. At least I hope. Tis time. Pray make ready. An amnesis, a niter. I don't think I have the fucking energy to do this. <laughs> I think that's where we'll start the next tree. Oh, you have more goodies for me? Is it a potion? Melon juice? You give me green pea? I'm getting the green piss. I think I might have to do it tomorrow night. Or... Monday night. I am so tired. I only had a 20 minute nap today. I've been up since noon. Ugh, is this a good dungeon though? Yawning is so contagious, I know. This is a good stopping point, you sure? I know Kelsey said there's like a few more quests until I get to 5.3, but I don't know what that means because sometimes the next few quests will either be very, very short or they will be super fucking stretched out. And it's almost two. Lalafell Astrologian called Kesara Sara. Just no point in playing it if I don't enjoy playing Astrologian. Wait, that's amazing. And I've been streaming for five hours? When the fuck did I go live? I feel like I just- I just went live. Okay. Is this dungeon a one more quest after? Okay. We'll wrap them up, uh, tomorrow night then. I have D&D at three and then I'm going to the movies after, so maybe when I come back I'll- I'll be live and I can wrap it up. If not, I'll be live Monday. You wanna do 5.3 in one go? In one go- What do you mean by that? There's a Lord's up out of this dungeon, so you want to be awake for it? Yeah, like, if I'm not mentally awake, I'm not going to be able to focus. I'm not going to know what's going on. It's not going to process, right? New Shah Rukh Khan movie? Yeah, we're going to go see um, Pathan. I don't even know if I'm saying that correctly. Pathan? I'm fucking stoked. I'm very excited. I have to grab our tickets. I'll grab them um, in a bit. Oh! Okay, chat. I'm gonna go sleep. Y'all have a good stream? How y'all feeling? Are we good? Is everyone else sleepy? I'm pretty sure, like, I feel like not many of my viewers are, like, East Coast. I feel like most of you are West Coast. Or, like, you're, like, in Europe. <laughs> There's, like, no middle ground. Yeah, it's Mimi's time. It's Mimi's time. East Coast gang, best coast? No, 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 no. There's only East Coast and West Coast, and y'all are wieners, okay? All right, let's see who's live. Who are we gonna raid? Who do we raid? There's so many people live. Let's see. I'm just gonna... Should I just find a random streamer? Oh, that's me. Why? Twitch? Why? You could have picked any fucking freeze frame and it's this? I'm hurt. 
I am truly hurt. Yeah, raid front page streamer sorry spooks. Yeah, let me raid myself real quick. What what could go wrong? Let's see. I'm gonna pick someone random. I'm gonna pick someone random. Someone random. Someone random. Someone random. Here, let's go raid this person. They're in... They're in Shadowbringers for the first time, I think. So let's go say hi to them. Because they're, they're titled it just as Shadowbringers and they're fighting that one icy dragon. So let's go say hi to, at the moment, Zero or Andrew. Andrew. Let's go say Andrew, but most of his friends call him Dad. So let's go say hi to Daddy, all right? Let's go give him some love. Channel's intended for mature audience, so y'all will feel safe and cozy there, all right? The Mist Dragon? Yeah, the Mist Dragon. I think he just beat it, actually. So you know what? Let's go give him some love, some claps. He's doing the burn. Let's go. All right. Bye, friends. I'll see you tomorrow night. And if not tomorrow night, Monday night. So yeah, get your get your spams ready. Don't forget to join my Discord server and follow me on social media that we can stay up to date with all my shenanigans and all those good fun things. Bye! I farted and it smells really bad. It smells like my chicken nuggies. No! Not sniffa! <laughs> Yo, someone give me 200 subs. I'll send you my fucking chair. <laughs>